Baldy. Today I'm going to Anime Expo. <laughs> What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Vito Giswaldi. Today I'm going to Anime Expo. Now, for those of you who don't know, anime is a Japanese word that roughly translates to pornography. The average Japanese male can't achieve erection without cartoon depictions of squids, men wearing schoolgirl uniforms, and children. It's a strange but somewhat beautiful culture, and I'm excited to go check it out. Probably not gonna go for the child porn though. That's not, I don't need that in my life. How do you get grace? Under the humble. Yo, have you read the Quran? It's Ladies and gentlemen, of good ideas. There's this guy, Muhammad. He's kind of new on the street. Day but he's got some good stuff, man. I, I'm serious. The judgment. The judgment. Oh my god, there's like a million people here. I don't, I don't even know where the end of the line is. I don't know where the fuck I'm going. Hopefully I'm going the right way. I don't know. Okay, because I'm a big dumb jerk, I just skipped the uh, six hour line. No, I have to go back outside for a different line? <laughs> I want to go home. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to try and skip the security line. Alright baby, breaking all the rules. <laughs> It's been 30 minutes of trying to figure out how to circumvent lines. Let's actually get into this thing. All right, uh, that's enough for me. I guess I can go home. One straight walk from the front to the back of a single aisle. That's, uh, that's, uh, that's enough. I'm done. I want to leave. I'm gonna fucking kill myself. You know, my normal mattress just hasn't been working. I'm getting like some back pain. I'm thinking maybe I just need a new pillow cover. Maid Reman is here. Hello. It's going well. How are you today? Good. <laughs> Can we go to Maid Reman? No. Stop. Stop asking if we can go to Maid Reman. All these guys got back pain. I'm Chris Hansen with Dateline NBC. You want something firm, but you know, not too firm? I'm torn because on one side, I hate lines. And on the other side, I like hot pornography. I don't know. Oh shit, I think this is about to turn into an impromptu episode of Game Grabbers. Okay, how, right. uh, how much is that copy of Lunar for the PlayStation? $300 and $300 for both each version. $300 for both. You get both? Each. Okay. $300 a piece? Yes. Okay. $300 a piece on Lunar. That's the deal of the century, I tell you what. Oh, yeah. Wait, oh, yeah. Wait, did you do the Pepsi video? Yeah, I did the Pepsi video. Oh, my What's God. What's up, brother? You guys buying any pornography? or You guys do not look actually of the age to be buying pornography. Me and are. Yeah, oh, these two not. guys. You buy it. You buy it for them. Yeah, well, of course. That's the system. That's the show is sick. There should not be kids here. I'm here with a guy who knows what he likes. Look at this hat. We need to make it great again because the state of hentai now is sad. It's been NTR declining. sad. It was. It was good. And then and NTR now it's bad. And now it's bad. What is NTR? Netterary. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know yeah. what that means. Cuckoldry. Oh. Yeah. The cucks. Yes. Cuck was added to the Urban Dictionary in 2007. Its literal meaning references a submissive man sexually cuckolded by a woman. Sad. Sad. Sad state of affairs. Again. Guys like you are fighting. We're doing our best. All right, man. Hey, fight the good fight. <sighs> oh, shit. They have witch toucher. Oh, oh, baby. No. In Japanese society, if your dad catches you jerking it to hentai, you're expected to ritually disembowel yourself. Ah! Ah! That's why they provide a variety of colorful swords and weaponry with which to do it. It's just a beautiful culture. A buddy of mine asked me recently, he's like, 
Why do you hate pop figures, man? Dude, come here, okay? You walk around a place like this, you're just going to see meticulously sculpted plastic toys with, with a level of craftsmanship that is frankly mind-blowing. So you can either pay money for that, something beautiful, approaching art, or you can buy a uh, mass-molded piece of garbage. Just You just take the base and you go, I don't know, I fucking make it Spider-Man. Whatever. Just fucking get it out the door. It doesn't matter. We need to make a million of these things. If you're going to buy baby toys, at least buy good-looking baby toys, man. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the world famous Tuesday Night Griff coming at you live from Los Angeles, California on a beautiful Tuesday, February the 20th. It's the show you love to love, the love you love to hate, the Tuesday Night Griff. I'm your host, Vito Giswaldi. Uh, how you guys doing? How we all feeling? How's my audio, by the way? Let me take a look. You know, like if I if this was like a real show, uh, I would have like oh my audio is is my audio really low? I guess it's okay. Uh, how's it going, guys? Well, here's the deal: is uh, I believe that I will be joined by Mister Girl at some point. <laughs> I said show at six six o'clock. Sends me a message. He says okay. That was at 5.59 p.m. So uh, he's not here. What do you, Max, when I say the show is at 6, you can't say okay at 5.59 and then not pick up your phone. Regardless, we're here. We're having fun. And, uh, you know, let's just get into it. We'll get into it, and hopefully Max Carson will join us. If not, uh, I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do. Guys, Vosh is in the news still. Still. Still in the news. Can I share this tab? There it is. Let's take a look. Uh, how do I do this? There we go. Unmarried YouTube Vosh, uh, YouTuber Vosh. His personal life captivates the internet. And I should take that banner off because the show is now live. Uh, this is when uh, this is this is when you know you're really fucked up is when the news has hit all the Chinese AI bot websites. Because then you're fucked. Okay, this is from Malang Post. That means people in China and Indonesia or whatever are hearing about your uh, hearing about your misdeeds, I suppose. Checking my tweets again. He's still not. He's still not in here. Digital realm is abuzz with conversations in America about an American YouTuber who goes by the name Vouch. And hey, wait, one sec. Is, is Super Chats working this time? Sometimes it like uh, demonetizes my stream the second I go live. And that makes I gotta make I gotta make a dollar here. Did they demonetize me yet? Am I demonetized? I want to see. Let me check. We're not doing the show for fun, guys. It doesn't even say that I'm live. Am I live? I must be live, right? It says I'm live. This is every stream. This is every this is whenever you watch a streamer, the whole thing is am I live? Is the audio good? Am I demonetized? And then you get a little echo feedback. All right, it looks like the dollar button is there. Good. I need my dollars. I need my money. The digital realm is a buzz with conversations about an American YouTuber going by the name Vosh. 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 Uh, we talked about this last week, for those of you who weren't here, but let's just get caught up. Uh, the individual at the center of this online fascination is known for his candidness. <laughs> I love AI. I love AI. Uh the way that they do these news articles. Who who would write like this? The individual at the center of this online fascination is known for his candidness. No, either it's like a severe translation into English, but I assume that just a robot writes this. Having shared, he is pansexual, meaning he experiences attraction irrespective of gender. 
Uh, is anyone truly pansexual? What is that? What could that possibly mean? That doesn't make any sense. Like, what are you attracted to buckets? Are you attracted to, to grasshoppers? Vosh also publicly identifies as cisgender and is disclosed he's on the autism spectrum and lives with ADHD. These revelations about his identity and personal challenges have drawn attention to his openness in discussing such matters. Okay. His uh, stuff is politically charged. Where are the, what, 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 what do the Indonesians know about Vosh is uh, current? Okay, here we go. What the fuck? Is there even anything in it? They didn't even talk about it. They don't even know what's going on. Hey, he actually got away good. They didn't mention the horse shit at all. The de well, the details of Vosh's romantic life are currently under wraps. Not exactly. It's clear his focus lies in his professional pursuits and advocacy. <laughs> well, uh, Vosh, you escaped. You escaped uh, uh, being talked about by the Indonesians. So what is, wait, wait, is there, I saw a bunch of news articles about Vosh. I mean, the worst thing has been, let's see, hold on. Uh, we have rock and rolling. Hey, Vito, first time I've been able to catch your stream. Love you on Biggest Problem. Your tweets are fantastic. My tweets are fantastic. Vito's Twitter is the best Twitter to be on. And uh, Pete says, Vito, I love you not in a gay way, but in the cosmic sense. Sorry if you're disappointed. Well, the cosmos are not sucking my dick. Let's put it that way. Max says, one second. Okay, we will have Max in a second. Uh... So what here's what here's what we might be talking about. I have to ask Mr. Girl if he wants to talk about this. Is uh Vosh has put out a one hour, 41 minute uh response to the allegations that he is uh into what do you call it? I see a bunch of people I see a bunch of people. I don't like this. I don't like this uh nonsense where they're calling it lollipop. What is that? Is the word lollycon? I will say the word lolly apparently is banned on some. Uh, but, but but this is this is ridiculous. Don't call it lollipop. It's lollycon. I don't want I don't want these like clever workaround terms because then you're gonna ruin lollipops. I like lollipops. Wait, Bosch is streaming right now. Is that true? No, he's not. Who's streaming right now? Oh, he's got his own pod. I, I I thought he was done with his podcast. He said it was going to end it. Uh, let me see. He's not still live, is he? He is still live. You all right? So maybe he didn't get to wrap up his podcast in time. He is cheating on me. Oh my god. Well, we'll have to wait to get into that then. What I was going to say is, Vosh has released a response. Uh, and the response does mention Mr. Girl. I know Mr. Girl is very upset. Uh, Vosh Alley is running his wiki. That pick is very favorable. Vito, why has your subscriber count been stagnant for so long? Because I'm not making stuff right now. But I am trying to finish my big Ghostbuster video. And that'll that'll give me another 10,000 subscribers. Uh, all right. Well, what, what has been the response to Vosh's response? I've seen a couple people. I saw President Sunday. Let me see if I can find him. President Sunday Twitter. Uh, this has been one individual. And what is who is President Sunday? He's a, he's another YouTube guy. Sunday. What a joke. Uh, 15,000 subscribers. Uh, and he says Vosh's context video is insulting. But this is him going through it for a, an hour and a half. Well, that's what we're about to do, I think. What did, but he had he had uh, some criticisms. Let me see. Not to mention Keffels has quit the internet. There's a lot going on. All right. Here was a comment on the Vosh situation that I think is poignant. Let's read this. If we can. Twitter does this thing where it doesn't want you to actually read images for some reason. So you have to open them in a different tab, which makes no sense. Vosh did not acknowledge and therefore did not apologize for the actual issue at hand. Uh, Mr. Fieldgood says Sunday is a lull cow. I don't know. I don't know. We can wait on Mr. Girl. It's fine. Uh, I want to start with an apology for my contribution to defending him. Um, let's see. I didn't think anything from his images were shocking, but I now see the source of that image is an unmistakable lolly gift from a lolly artist. An entire in-depth animation. Oh, there's an animation as well? As the preview for his sorted content, it recontextualizes the whole leak. 
Oh, so in his sword. Okay, hold on. Oh, oh, hold on. Do we have an image of the Vosh folder? Vosh folder. Hold on. Let's see. Uh, I think they won't let me see the folder, though. If I show the folder, do I go to jail? You know what? I might go to jail if I show the folder. <laughs> so the problem is, so the problem is now, apparently, let's see. I can look at this. One of these folders is sorted. Yeah, this one that says XXX gifts, right? Oh, hold on. I have to show the tab. XXX gifts is sorted. And apparently the gift, the preview image is also lolly. So that would mean his argument that, uh, you know, I, I put it in my sorted folder. And by the time I seen it, of course, I would have deleted it. Uh, falls a little flat. To comment on this, of course, is our very special guest, uh, Mr. Girl. How are you doing, buddy? Wait, what did I do? Oh, my God. What am I doing? What are you doing? Why are you showing my screen on your screen? Hold on. I don't hear your audio. Check your setting. Hit the settings tab and check your audio uh, thing. And you're showing me your audio settings. I don't know if you want to show me that. Don't screen. Are you screen sharing? Don't Hello. Screen share. Yeah, I can hear you Hello. now. I can hear Hello. you. Yeah. Hi. So I was going to put you on my screen, but I think um, you don't have. Oh, are you also streaming? Yeah, I was. I just finished my podcast. I could keep streaming, or I can stop. I guess. Uh, the problem is if you put me on your screen, they're going to see two of me on my screen. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> Wait. Face. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Video capture device three. Is that right? No. Uh, that's black. Can you see me? That's all black now. <laughs> not just not, a little. Not just a black guy. All black. Two. Hey. There you go. That works. Okay. How you been, buddy? Oh, yeah, you know how you know how I've been. I do know how you've been, and it's eating me up inside. People don't know that uh, I'm torn up. I'm tore up. Yeah, you you get you feel really bad for me sometimes. You feel really bad. Well, I think everyone should feel bad for you. I think uh, so too. This is what I've been saying. Here's the thing, though, and here's here's why I wanted to bring you on. Is I th I, I people ask me, they're like, "Well, what happened to that guy?" They don't know where you are. Really. I think so. I think that's part of it. People don't know that you're banned from Patreon until I tell them. They don't know that. Uh, yeah, I'm banned from Patreon. I'm banned from YouTube. Fourth time. And, uh... You're banned from TikTok. I'm banned from TikTok a couple times. Although I have a, tic I have a TikTok account. They don't really care if you keep coming yeah. back, but... I yeah. would say you're the most banned not-Nazi on the internet. Yeah. To quote Trump, I did everything right, and, and they and they banned me. It eats me up inside. It eats me up inside because you know who should really be the one getting canceled is the sinister, sinister Vouch. Yeah. <laughs> and his XXX gifts folder. Uh, now you have followed this news, obviously, because famously Vosh. Well, in a way, uh, it almost helped you at first, was that he kicked you off his stream and everybody said, well, Vosh is a scumbag. How can yeah. he do that? You know, this man was making excellent intellectual arguments uh, that made him uncomfortable. And yeah. now he, he basically has said, what is the quote from the new video? Where you do, you, if you're- He said, I do it, I may not be, if he's not a pedophile, he does a great impression of one. So he's still calling me a pedophile. He's still calling you a pedophile, which makes no sense because this is a man oh. who right now, let's be real. Where's the oh. video? Uh, oh my God, my back. Are you still dying with that back? Uh, it's getting better, but uh, so slowly. Did you throw your back out? Yeah. I I don't know. I think I herniated a disc or something. Jesus Christ. Don't you have to go to the doctor for that? Yeah, they sent me to physical therapy, but I'm almost done with physical therapy, and then they might give me a... Um... Do they give you some sort of pills, I hope, or something? It's not. It doesn't hurt that much. It's just I can't just sit... I can't sit for like four hours straight. Yeah. I don't think you're supposed to do that anyway. I should have been standing up, but I, I forget. You can be standing I'll just turn and my... streaming. Yeah, I... 
You can turn Hold your up. camera off if you need to. If you... Yeah, let me. I'm gonna turn my camera off and just stand up for a minute, and then that's I'll, fine. And then I'll come back. All right. You'll still be able to talk. You have the headset, right? Mm, yeah. Yeah. Well, I was gonna yeah, yeah, say, yeah. why why is Vosh calling people uh, PDF files when this is he has to deal with this, and you almost feel bad for him that a man. <laughs> I mean, not really, but I mean, I don't know. I don't know why, you know, look, I'm a very sympathetic person, especially yeah. as somebody who has faced ridiculous allegations myself. And I don't think Vosh is a danger to real children because he's the same at allegation, really. Anime porn. Yeah, basically the same allegation. Well, I don't know. Was I ever accused of having a lolly? I, th no. I don't know. Defending it, having it feels like it all. Gets I have, I have said, look, I, you know, I don't I don't want to look at it. And when I see it, I go, what the fuck's wrong with you people? But I also am not going to throw anybody in jail for it. I'm also not going to assume, you know, look, I'm willing to say, all right, you know, maybe I don't want you working at a daycare, but that's for different reasons. It seems like you're just a pervert anyway. Uh, th this is what Vosh is dealing with, is people dressing up like a horse and making fun of his horse porn folder. Yeah. Howdy, partners. Which is kind of fun. Welcome to the H3 <laughs> podcast. <laughs> Woo does make me, what do you think about Ethan Klein in this situation? He seems I like just, a dummy. I, it just seems like he's doing the same thing that Vosh did. Which is a calling people pedophiles with the barest of truths. Yeah, so, I mean, calling them pedophiles for trying to think through the edge cases and talk about them. I mean, I, I understand the Vlali folder is part of it, but a lot of what they're calling him a pedophile for is doing thought experiments that lead to weird conclusions, which I think is what you're supposed to do as a political commentator. You're supposed to be like, oh, what, what, what about the, you know, what, how, what about the way we think about how t-shirts are made? What if we apply that to child porn? Does that give us a weird, give me a weird edgy thing I can say? I think here's that's, the problem with the, uh, yeah. Um, I'm learning this more and more. I've, or, I've always known this, that, People are so stupid that the mere existence of a hypothetical question, it, it's like you almost can't use them because people are too stupid to. Have you seen the uh, how would you feel if you hadn't uh, eaten breakfast this morning meme? No. Okay. Let me look. Oh, that yeah. Up I actually, quick. I have. Yeah, I have. Yeah. Or like just, so they, just how people, they're like, but I did eat breakfast this morning or something. Yeah. But you know what that comes from? What? It was a guy, I want to say it was Stanford, where he said, we went to prisons to try and establish the intelligence of prisoners oh they like can't answer hypothetical questions they literally cannot answer it if you ask most people in prison how would you feel if you didn't eat breakfast this morning they'll go i did eat breakfast this morning you go right I guess that's why they're in prison because you're like <laughs> how would you feel if you got arrested and went to jail and they can't they well yeah that's can't why i think they, about that yeah. that's what the experiment is relevant how would you feel if someone stole your car? How would you feel if someone stabbed you with a knife? Right. Well, nobody did stab me with a knife. Right, but can you empathize with the person who is being stabbed and understand that they would not like that and they can't yeah. do it? And that's what we're learning is that the dumbest people on the internet also can't do that, where you go, well, what if Hitler uh, did this? And they go, oh, so that means this guy is Hitler? And you're like, no, right. I'm using an extreme edge case to try and make you say, well, I wouldn't like it if Hitler did it, so therefore I can extrapolate it out. Yeah, and then so they say, well, okay, why are you using extreme edge cases about pedophilia? And then think in Vosh's case, the answer is because he's a fucking streamer, not because he's a pedophile. That's, that's what political streamers do, is they use weird edge cases about things that people are emotional about and try to... That's how Challenge. we get at logic is that we examine the edge case and then we walk it back and we go, okay, we know it's wrong okay. to uh, tie up a prisoner and, 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 you know, cover him in honey and let the bees kill him or whatever. Yes. So is it all, is it also bad to, you know, cut off his head with a guillotine, you know, yeah. is, go ahead. But it's also how we get to logic tainment. Yeah. You know, that's what Vosh is doing. I think. Do you think I, Vosh produces something of value? Do you think all this uh, streaming about politics uh, while playing Metroid is valuable? Uh, I think it's entertaining. I don't. I think that the problem is that when you're claiming you are logically consistent and saying offensive things be 
to back up that claim and to make yourself interesting. But then when people get mad at you, you start backing away from those claims. Then you start having the appearance of somebody who just wants to seem logically consistent, but really just wants people to watch your stream. And it's like, I don't, I don't get what the message is. So, and it feels like Ethan Klein is doing the same thing, although a little more transparently. I don't think Ethan Klein is like pretending to be an intellectual. But, I think both me and you, here's the problem, yeah, have yeah. faced backlash. People always say we want honest entertainers. Mm -hmm. We're tired of the fakeness. We're tired of the lies. We're tired of people who put on an act. Yeah. Uh, and then you go, okay, I'll be real with you. I don't want to cut pedophiles' heads off unless, uh, in most cases, I don't want to cut their heads off. I'm okay putting them in jail if they commit a crime. Yeah. Uh, I'm, a, I'm okay with locking them up for a long fucking time, if not life, depending on the severity of their crimes. But I'm not constantly fantasizing about feeding them into a wood chipper, and I don't see how that benefits the greater uh, societal consciousness. And you say yeah. that, and they go, well, that that means you're defending pedophiles. I mean, you're a pedophile. And you're like, I just wanted, like, real people. Like, did you want did you want my real opinion, or do you want me to just go, yeah, let's line them up in front of a machine gun and uh, just kill all of them, you know, you every think single one? Do you think that the fantasy of putting a pedophile in a wood chipper is itself a sexual fantasy? I think it's less of a sexual fantasy as much as it is like this. Uh, we like to hate things, right? Hate is such a it's an intense emotion. I don't know. We might. I wonder if our species needs hate. I wonder if it's like something that we can't survive without. And uh, it's very easy to hate criminals because they did something wrong so it's justified but at a certain point uh, i think it becomes like a sickness when you hate them so much that yeah you're fantasizing about killing them and i'm sure somebody's getting off on it on some level i don't know exactly. yeah, yeah. <laughs> somebody's any any fantasy any violent fantasy that has that much goo in it i think we can say it was a little sexual they want to spread that uh that blood everywhere so here's what i was gonna ask yeah. Uh, do you have interest in watching Vosh's response? Oh, Jesus. Uh, the whole you, you, thing? Not the whole thing. I figured we could jump around. Uh, well, I watched like 30 seconds of it, and then I freaked out and started writing an angry tweet. And then uh, you happened to call me right when I started writing it, and then um, convinced me not to send it. Well, that's the thing is, I was thinking about it. I'm like, well, I think sending a tweet, it would just be lost in the void. Yeah. I feel like just responding on some level we don't even have to go to your part of the video oh, but i just kind of wanted to video. we don't well yeah that i mean i think it would be valuable okay so you want to wanna, you want to play me a video of vosh talking about me and then watch me freak out it's not that's basically, i don't basically well, no. what, well, i know you see it's not a gotcha because we don't have to do it you think it's a gotcha right now oh no let's do it let's okay. do it and again if you get uncomfortable and you want to do it we can we can turn it off because i know it's uncomfortable. Oh. it sucks yeah but no, i also think he may he says something here's the thing again i think this is a guy who tries to claim i'm just being honest i'm just you know oh look i'm honest and he's admitting to his faults he said i used to be an edgy debate bro but now i've changed and yeah. i'm going i don't think he's being honest and now i'm a non-edgy debate bro i think if he was being honest he would say i was wrong for what i said about mr girl because clearly i'm doing uh similar things i'm coming up with <laughs> insane hypotheticals i'm comparing uh the production of child pornography to the mining of cobalt how is that any different than anything you've done if not worse yeah it is i mean my hypothetical the only reason i came up with a hypothetical at all is because i was like vosh what age do you think people are attracted to physically and then he's like well i think our society has a horrible problem with sexualizing i'm like just answer the motherfucking question <laughs> like i wasn't saying it because i i'm like excited about talking about android stripper panties i was coming up with a hypothetical to make it increasingly clear that if you're not willing to answer the question you're being evasive so a, a lot of times when i ask people a hypothetical question i have to do this i have to be like okay you are falling into a black hole and you find child porn there and it can never get out and then it, and you also have cancer, and then also the, all the children in the porn are already dead. And it's like you just have to keep asking all question after question to get them to just be like, okay, yeah, I'll answer. It's it's just a way to make the person feel safe. But then, so then Vosh pointed out, so I, so I was making a joke about it by asking about the panties. 
Was fucking... that a joke? Somebody told me that joke was a reference to a Vosh incident. Is that correct, or was it just more? That's a coincidence. That's I was a coincidence. just. I you know, I wasn't trying to reference. Anything. I understood I just... the joke regardless. I wonder. Yeah, if that's I was why just like so upset. I was just like, wouldn't it be funny if I started throwing in random sexual? Well, he said details? you sound like a pedophile, and you said, "Oh, okay, so Vosh, what color are your panties?" I'm like, okay, he's. He's, it's self-deprecating. You're telling me yes. I sound creepy. Yes. So I'll say something a little creepy and then we can when move on. Someone, this is, when someone calls me a pedophile, I yeah. have to act like a pedophile. I cannot stop myself. It's like in Roger <laughs> Rabbit. Well, that's when a very you, pedophile thing to say. Yes. <laughs> I can't stop myself. I can't stop myself. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> it's, the, it's a uh, strong feeling. That's, I'm, 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 I become one of those prisoners. Yeah. It's like in Who Framed Roger Rabbit when he's knocking on the wall and he's like, shave and a hair cut. That, for me, <laughs> someone calls me a pedophile, I have to pretend to be a pedophile. I have oh, I think to. I, I think I missed this. Did I miss the super chat? Do you think Vosh would be interested in Sarah Jessica Parker? Is that a reference to her horse face? I, I think so. I get what you're doing there. I All right, here's so. what I'm going to do. Here is the context video. We're not going to watch the whole thing. Oh, Why don't we start with the intro? You want to watch the intro? Here, no, I just want to watch the part about me. You want to go right to it? Yeah. Well, hold on. You have a problem with his child labor argument. Do you want to hear his argument for why he made the child labor argument? Or what he thinks about it now? Um, I'll go straight to you. It's, it's your it's whatever your you, whatever. No, whatever you want to do. Let's start with this. Okay, so one okay. of Vosh's uh, famous arguments is that uh, child if, pornography, he can't take issue with it because child labor exists. And because his computer was made with child labor, how could he possibly find fault with child pornography? Is that is that basically what it is? He's saying that, yeah, I think he's saying with our society's current moral structure, there is no moral or legal argument because we don't find it immoral to use products that were made with child labor. So then why is it immoral to use child porn? I think is what he's saying. All right, let's listen. Too long. Now, without further you ado, this, right? let's get to the content. We'll yeah. start with the absolute worst of it, the monstrously stupid argument that I made way back when I first started streaming that has since haunted me and irreparably tarnished my reputation. Now, this clip is the one that I see cited most often when people are accusing me of being a pedophile. That's not even a little surprising to me, though. It sounds pretty bad. In fact, and this is going to be a real hot take, I have yet to hear a convincing moral or legal argument as to why possession of child pornography should be illegal. Actual child pornography. Like I said... He was playing Dead Cells. You play that game yet? No. Do you, like, you don't like side scrollers. Uh, I like a couple. Maybe you'd like Dead Cells. It's a roguelike side scroller. Okay. All right. said uh, pretty bad. This clip is from right after I started streaming, so a significant portion of my career as a live streamer has been spent providing context for the clip over and over to many... Oh, he says this is right after I started streaming. When was that? I want to say this, that know. clip is only like four years old. It's not like ancient history. I don't know. But was he still making that argument? I mean, I think specifically you wanted to take him to task for that argument on some level. I think right? when I brought it up, he said, I no longer hold that position at the time. Okay, so he's already walking it back at the time. I think so. Here's the thing with Vosh is like, okay, so you want to take him at his word, I guess? Or do you want to take him? Uh, when he says, I no longer hold that position, my Wait. instinct is to go... Okay, but what has changed about that? What what? How has your opinion on that changed? Yeah, when you or did you hear just the, change it to, because everybody kept giving you shit about it? Yeah, you need to present a counter argument. I think the yeah the best way uh, to convince me that your mind has changed is to go. I had an illuminating uh, discussion with this person, or I looked into this evidence. Uh, his his argument for a lot of this stuff is I was being edgy. Uh, which is not a great argument for why you would say that. Right. Calling someone edgy is not a counter argument. You need to explain why it's illogical. Yeah. Any people and many audiences. I've addressed it so many times that it's, it's, it's turned into like a, a kind Have of running joke it? in my know. community. Like a, a, a rake that I'm cursed to keep walking into over and over and it hits me in the head. I often see people outside of my community, people who have seen this clip but not seen me address it, 
mock the idea that any context that I or anyone else could provide could possibly explain away something that sounds that bad. When they see me or my fans uh, say that this or any other clip has been taken out of context, uh, it comes across to them as an oh my god, to shut up. Away. Doesn't he have He's a calm, and soothing way of uh, talking, Max? He's not saying. No, he doesn't. He's not saying anything. I don't. What does he? What is, oh, there's a lot a of him not saying legitimate anything. suspicion. You know, chastising people for having an opinion on something that looks bad. Like you see a clip that looks bad of me, and then I or a fan of mine comes in, and we're like, uh, "No, you know, you need to familiarize yourself with with like 50 hours of stream lore before you can have an opinion on that." I have seen people. Why is this video 50 hours long? In that way, because it's just this. It's not. I know, even but like... isn't he's doing the thing he's talking about doing? Just be like, "Yes, I made this argument about child porn, and here's the counter argument and why I don't believe it." Bam! Ten seconds. Why well, do we have to watch him ramble? Well, here's why: because this this video. I don't believe is for the purpose that it's stated to be for. It's for his audience yes. that already likes him. Yes. Maybe a couple of them got a little bit spooked and they need Daddy Vosh to come in and rub their just, shoulders and go, don't it, worry, I don't like uh, the yeah, lollies. I only really like you. I like yes. you. Yes. <laughs> so the purpose of the video is to be uh, ironically, to be so long and droning and rambly that nobody can clip it to ha make it have any meaning or anything, and the only people who will watch it are people who just like listening to him drone already. Yeah, or react streamers like me. Uh, okay. I'm not a react streamer. This is a this is a rare occurrence. Okay. So, I don't fault others for. I'll put being... this at a, like 1.25. How's that? Yeah, let's. Uh... Speed it up here. It's 1.5. He talks so slow. I think 1.5 would work. Like kind of Go suspicious on. of that or, or, or not? That's eh, a little too much. It's a little too much. Taking it very seriously. Some people are just going to tune out right there. Now, don't get me wrong. The clip <laughs> is bad. It's uh, rhetorically bad. He already knows bad. how you're going to react. logically Max. bad. It's, it's obviously optically bad. Yeah. And the broader argument that it's pulled from are bad in all of those ways, too. Uh, why? But as why? for why? what why? the why? clip why? and the argument that it's pulled Fuck. from say about me, me. Uh, I would like to make the case if I may, that it does implicate me, but not as a pedophile, rather uh, as a, a fucking idiot, debate bro, brain poisoned jackass, because I took a perfectly fine argument. And I think that, you know, when I explain it, it'll, the argument itself will make perfect sense, at least. Still kind of a bad argument, like the, when you think about it. I think the best argument against the argument is you can mine things in obtaining cobalt it doesn't, requ doesn't require doesn't require any exploitation. You could pay a guy yeah. to get you cobalt and he would be happy to do so. And you could have uh, labor laws and you could have insurance and whatever else to make sure he doesn't get hurt or whatever. Uh, yeah. But child pornography cannot be produced in any ethical way because the end product is unethical. So that's that is a very good argument against him. I did not come up with that argument, by the way. I've seen it posted and I went, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. That's that's why it's uh, kind of ridiculous what he's saying. Uh, uh, and I ruined it with this. So this is Vosh's, and this is pretty much I'm going to say a big theme of this is he explains most of his behavior away as that was the old Vosh. Uh, he was an edgy debate guy. He said crazy things to get attention, but, but the new but Vosh he doesn't, he doesn't address the argument itself. Not really edgy. He, well, he said he's addressing the argument and saying that the argument is, is logical in a way. It's just presented badly. Okay, so that just means he still believes. He still it. believes it. Yeah. Contrary okay. and devil's advocate nonsense. Now I'll say him believing it doesn't make him a pedophile, but he's, it's still a really bad argument to make. So let me explain. I had just started live streaming, and I was far, far more argumentative and belligerent and arrogant then than I am now. If you can believe that, over the background of my mediocre dead cells gameplay an argument with chat on the subject of foreign labor and unethical production was getting increasingly heated just in case anyone watching doesn't know many of the products that we buy from american companies on american store shelves are produced through supply chains that take advantage of what we could consider a okay so you're just gonna make the argument again uh vosh so what do you what do you what why is it the bad child labor argument because you didn't present it in a in a good enough way and you know, I hate to skip around, but God, you're just you're, you're 
lumbering on. Ready? Couldn't we do the same for products that we know are made with child slavery at the very least? The parallel felt clear to me, and I wanted to really drive home the hypocrisy of the people arguing against me who said you were downplaying, I guess, the issue with the whole child slavery intertwined in our, you know, economy thing. So... In fact, and this is going to be a real hot take, I have yet to hear a convincing moral or legal argument as to why possession of child pornography should be illegal. Actual child pornography. How's that for a hot fucking day? Now, to clarify on this take, as I feel it necessary to do so, we do not, in this country, um, typically uh, uh, criminalize people who have procured me uh, media or resources which were the product of abuse. Um, it is not illegal to own necklaces that have um, slave diamonds or whatever, what are they called? Um, or, or yeah, blood diamonds? Yeah, all of our clothes produced by sweatshops, our computers with silicon and lithium mined from literal fucking slaves. In our society, we have already deemed that people are not responsible for the mechanisms by which the media... So he's saying this argument is sound, it's just too edgy. Yeah. Is that reasonable? I guess. Hmm. No, it's reasonable. No, no, no. I as reasonable. <laughs> that it's a, sorry. It's a reasonable interpretation of what he is doing. Yes, it's oh, not okay. reasonable. It's not itself, reasonable no. what he's saying. Uh, right. Michael Winning says this is Amos E two Lolly Boogaloo. All this fucking Amos E shit. Is Amos E really the most important fucking person to bring? I w was not around when this Amos guy was on the fucking internet. And everybody is obsessed with that guy as the uh, token pedophile. They consume and the content they uh, engage with are produced. You like that argument? Ooh, you like that? You like that moral culpability? You're a lot worse than fucking CP owners, and I am too. Do you like that? No ethical consumption under capitalism. Shit sucks, right? But if we accept that argument for slave labor, then we definitely have to accept it for child pornography. Yeah, there you go. My dumb goal <laughs> here. So here's what drives me nuts is uh, you see how 450,000 subscribers? Mm-hmm. He got there on the back of shit like that. Like, he was, yeah, he was edgy in-your-face debate guy. And then now, uh, I don't think that goes away, though, necessarily. I mean, I don't know. I guess people change. Uh, and he's older and, and maybe, he, I guess, wiser in what he uh, chooses to say. Mm -hmm. But I still just, when I, when I look at Vaj, I feel like, this is a mask. Like me, let's put it this way. I've learned personally that uh, I should be a little less argumentative with my critics. I should pick fewer fights. I should get less. Ins I just have to let it roll over me. Right now, I think uh, Andy Worski is streaming about me tonight. He's going to tell uh, 1,500 people or 2,000 people that I'm a pedophile. And uh, in years past, I would be sweating. I would be like, oh, my God, my reputation will be ruined. All these people are going to attack me. And at a certain point, I went, wait, I hate all those people. And their opinion of me is retarded. They think Tom Hanks is a pedophile. Uh, they think that Biden is a robot. Why do I care uh, for the opinion of those people? So I, you know, I can I empathize well, with Vosh maybe I mean, on I that think this, level. The Go scary ahead. thing is the scary thing is those people want a crazy person to come to your house and kill you. Well, the thing is, yeah, I'm worried. I do always worry that there will be a crazy person who. Yeah goes out of their mind and we've seen this i mean that's almost part of the i don't know if these guys are aware of it but let's be real like when the pizza gate thing was going on they said the basement of this pizza shop there's children trapped in it and a guy went there with an assault rifle to try and uh, save the kids and you're like well that's fucking spooky uh or that guy who cut his dad's dad's head off did you see that video uh i heard about it i didn't see it. hold on i think i might i might have that one real quick let me see here. Date modified. Recent. Let's see. Du, 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 du. Is this the guy? That's not the guy. Mr. Girl's back hurts, guys. You gotta give me. You gotta get everybody. Uh. One day. Wish. Wish oh. for Mr. Girl's back to get better, because he deserves it. Oh, it's okay, getting I better. I found Slowly the video. But surely. Rotting from the inside. Okay, so this was uh this was his leaked video. Can you see the video? I see that it's tagged with VNN, which is America is a very reputable uh source. Rotting from the inside out as far left woke mobs rampage our once prosperous cities, turning them into lawless zones. Our demands are as follows. The ceasing of all woke and gender ideology propaganda in schools and other public places. 
This is a time for the American states and American citizens of all races and religions to come together to fight for our country on our own soil against the traitorous federal government and their communist fifth columns, such as the LBGT community, BLM movement, and Antifa. But of course, the far left woke... This is him really upset that the uh, Snyder Cut hadn't been released yet. Man. Okay, this guy actually cut his own dad's head off? He actually cut his own dad's head off. Uh, this image of him appearing with all these people is an edit. I believe you can understand. I do. So wait, so he, <laughs> <laughs> so he, he just, he just said that on his own and then he made, he released this video of him in his bedroom. He had cut off his dad's head because of the woke LGBTs. <laughs> and then you just and put him next to a bunch I put of him comics next to a gate. bunch of guys who are upset against, uh, they're upset about the Snyder Cut. And Antifa. But of course, the far left woke LGBT community, BLM and Antifa will also target Af I had to take this down because everyone started retweeting it like it was real and I went, uh, this is this might get me in trouble. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Uh so yeah, but you know, he's making some good points. Gender. Satan wants America to fall so that he can unleash his plan on the world. But our God is stronger, and he will not let us perish so long as we believe in him and fight for him and his creation, which Satan wants to destroy and re-engineer. Well done, Peter. Well so, done. but the point is that these are the kind of, out there, there are schizophrenic psychopaths who want to cut their dad's head off yeah. because you filled their mind with uh, crazy ideas. So I am worried about those people. Me too. Because uh, they are out there. Real quick, The Apprentice says it's nice to see mr girl on youtube again i feel joyous jonathan Rumi will play him in the biopic one day i don't know who jonathan Rumi is i don't know that ivan Balzac for 10 says saying someone is a pedophile on the internet without any proof like that without any consequences is appalling every person who says that for another one should legally be punished we should I, put I them in a fucking wood chipper <laughs> I guess the point I was trying to make is I identify. Oh God, what did I do? I pressed the wrong button. I identify with Vosh wanting to be a guy who's less uh, reactionary, less combative. Uh, but I also think that he is um, obsessed with this optics game, which I guess everyone is. I don't know. Like he wants to grow his subscribers. He talks. Have you seen him talking about how how could Ethan Klein do this to me during an election year? Have you heard that? <laughs> uh, yeah, like Ethan Klein's main motivation is to advance the Democratic Party's interests. I think it's more that uh, Ethan Klein is so ignorant that he doesn't realize that Vosh single-handedly oh, is yeah. going to help propel democracy and, and save this country. And uh, if Ethan Klein understood the threat we face, he would not make jokes about uh, Vosh's porn Yeah, you porn should. Folder. You should let me argue for the legalization of child porn uncontested. Because if you make fun of me for that, it might hurt the Democratic Party's agenda. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't make sense? The Democrats are going to lose because Vosh looked at. Why don't you take responsibility, Vosh? If Biden loses, it's because you had to look at lolly horse porn. You did this. I'm going to go to the voting line. I'm going to go, how are you voting? And they're going to go, I'm going for Trump. And I go, why? And they go, because I saw the contents of Vosh's folder. Do you think Joe Biden is a pedophile? He's got to stop sniffing everybody. But he doesn't just sniff kids. That's a non-denial denial. I don't think he's a pedophile. Well, I don't think he's any more of a pedophile than the average pedophile. I don't think Joe Biden... <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> I don't. You don't. I don't think he's a super pedophile. I, I can don't think he's one of those. Say that. I a regular pedophile. Those, I don't know. <laughs> I don't think he's one of those super pedophiles you read about on the news. But uh, see, I, if you say he's not a pedophile, and then it turns out he is, you feel stupid, right? And then you're a pedophile because you couldn't identify the pedophile. Yes, so that's part of the game. I think it he is. just really likes the way kids smell, man. That's. <laughs> Because he's never, like, touching him. He's always like, oh, that strawberry shampoo. I am not a, a pedophile because I will only touch a child with my face. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, what are you going to do? All right, let's get the end of this argument here. It was to spark indignant outrage, to make people who downplay the immorality of unethical supply chains to reflect on the harm they were enabling through comparison. 
or for them to, you know, uh, bluster and go, no, oh, no, they're different. Child slavery is fine, actually, eh, and, and look bad. You know, it was meant to be like an invective, like something like, ah, oh, it gets, it, you know, it, it, it's, it's punchy. It gets right through to people. Obviously, it didn't work. The only person I succeeded in making look bad was me, and that wasn't one of the goals. So, yeah, no, pretty, pretty bad. Because I really, I'm going to argue that it did, it was effective in mobilizing his base to fervently def defend him. Right. Yeah. So I'm working on a essay about cults yeah cult fan bases and one thing the that cult fan bases really like or maybe even require is for the leader to do something that is indefensible to outsiders but give some convoluted code for defending it for the in group and it yeah yeah, and it's like they, they actually like it. They want the leader to do something that seems indefensible, and then they can go out and like fight with people about it. And it's like reinforces their, their identity as a follower of that now, person. Now, is this something but, you've researched, or is this a theory? This is just a theory. I'm sure somebody I think, also... But I'm, I think that theory, like, so David Koresh, uh, the Waco guy, yeah, pretty, pretty, I think it's pretty well documented that he was, you know, sleeping with uh, underage girls. I don't know mm -hmm. exactly how young. And yet to outsiders, we go, well, that's a dangerous cult that needs to stop to them. They go, well, he's the reincarnation of Jesus Christ. Uh, obviously, he, he should be, you know, have access to every woman in this group, including children. Yeah, uh, I mean, that's I... what they have to defend, I guess. I see this even with my own fans that they there is a almost joyful sorrow that they feel in watching me be misunderstood by people with I think they actually like it. I think a lot of fans would feel that they lose an intimate connection with me or an intimate ex exciting part of their like identity as like being a fan of my work. If I were to hit the mainstream and everybody were to be like, "Oh, he's not, he's not, he's not any of the bad things we think," uh, he's just a you know great musician and speaker or whatever. We love this guy. I I think that would actually be disappointing. And it's like there's a huddling of the followers together every time the leader is is misunderstood. Here's a great example: is uh, Trump. It's a man who has a number of verbal gaffes. Mm -hmm. uh verbal gaffes such as uh tim apple very very fine people on both sides right mm -hmm. i think the first one that he had the gaff i remember the most he said uh they're not sending their best they're sending murderers they're sending rapists and some of them i assume are good people and i remember everyone saying uh well trump thinks mexicans are rapists and i remember going well he didn't say all Mexicans are rapists because obviously he doesn't believe that. He's saying that of the Mexicans that are crossing the border, surely some of them are criminals and that deserves uh, background checks. And even me as like, you know, not a right leaning guy. I remember seeing all these news articles. Trump says Mexicans are rapists. Mm -hmm. And I felt a sympathy for the man where I went, well, I don't like being as someone who doesn't also want to be taken out of context. And have my words misconstrued by the media. Uh, how could you do that? It is unethical for you to do that. I feel like I need, and I remember going on Twitter and saying, well, no, that's not what he meant. Uh, we can't, if we truly want to argue against Trump, we should argue against it. the core argument, not invent uh, these racist scenarios that are pretty much pulled from a whole cloth. You could say it's a uh, racist to insinuate that a large enough portion of them are criminals that you could characterize uh, rapists as being a, a major threat, but yeah, uh, simply saying he called Mexican rapists. I see but it also in my fans who have defended me on stupid shit I've said. And yeah, yeah there's, there is there's, there's a glee that they feel like they like. They I don't like know if it's it. Glee. I, I think like, it is. I think there's a. I think they glee? like. Yeah, I think they like it when Trump is misunderstood, and and it doesn't seem to really matter if it's if they are actually misunderstood or not. We're like, like Vosh is talking. In the droning, you see in this video, mm. it uh, all the all the all he's really saying it's all just a big build up. It's like a magic trick where you're like looking at the one thing and then he just like does a little thing over here. The thing he's doing, the real trick, is to yeah. tell you that he was condemning child porn in that video, right. and that some somehow the sentence 
I've yet to hear a convincing moral or legal argument as to why child porn should be illegal, actual child porn. That's the sentence. And we're meant to be convinced that that is a condemnation of child porn. It's not. He's not saying it would be one thing. So to say what he's claiming, he said he would need to say, well, if you think that it should be legal to use child slave labor in, in products, then you should also think it should be legal to possess child porn because it's the same thing that that would be making that point. The point he's making is the opposite. He's saying it is legal and it is moral to yeah. use child slave labor. And therefore it is also legal and moral to use child porn. I, yeah. The problem is I originally. Wait, you're breaking up. I can't. Oh, sorry. Yeah. I sometimes my internet drops for a second. Okay. I believe originally his argument was both. Or my original interpretation of the argument was him saying both things are bad. But instead, what, it seems like his argument is we accept certain evils, and th if we accept this evil, we should accept this other evil. Yeah, like, you, if if both what? things are bad, yeah, you can't say I have yet to hear a convincing moral argument as to why child porn should be illegal. That doesn't make sense. Now you are. Let's see, clip number three. Mr. Girl Context. Do you uh do you need a moment? Do you want to like a get a like a drink? I just hop in on this. Wait, where I mean otherwise that? we got otherwise we got nervous? what? We got vegan game. No, I just look man, let's be real. This video has three hundred and eighty four thousand views. Now you've been through the ringer before, See, probably you're... maybe even worse. <laughs> yeah. You've, uh, who, 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 uh, was the biggest one? Penguin Zero? Charlie? Yeah. Play us a little tune. Get us on tune. You know what? I'm not even, you know what? This is a, this is a rip the band-aid off situation. Let's Here we go. It. One category of disingenuous pedophilia accusation that I find <laughs> particularly maddening is when they're cut from a video in which I am clearly arguing that our society has a, a, a tendency to fetishize youth and girls and that it's bad which is what you were agreeing with him on right i mean i was i was trying to get him away from t um talking about whether it's bad and just to talk about what he thinks is happening because if you try to do both at the same time you you get confused and it's harder to talk about what's happening if you also have to you were trying to establish where society currently is at with the sexualization of, of underage women where one part of society says, oh my God, what's going on? While well, the other part of society is making music videos where girls dress up in crazy outfits. and I, w I uh, think even a little around. deeper, I think I'm, I was trying to get at something deeper than that, which is let's set morality aside. I, I'm trying to get him to make a descriptive statement about the sexual preferences of adult men. Let's take all these things and set them aside. So first, let's take marriage and relationships, put that aside, because... You, yeah, you don't you don't want to marry a fifteen year old because they're like stupid. Okay. Right. Second, so that's why I was that's saying it's, that's what's, yeah right. So strip that means <laughs> that's why they're strippers. Right. Not not who do you want to date, but who do you want to look at? Two, they're human beings. We don't want to abuse children. So let's like they're not children. They're androids. Okay. So we've got that set aside, and then so the the whole thing is to just get at if everything is stripped down. Pure we, physical attraction on its most uh, stripped down form. Yes. Can we get at, to the average adult American male, what do you think is the most attractive female form? What right. age? And if we know the answer to that, then yeah, of course, that leads to a bunch of other questions about how do we deal with this? And what if the answer is... Vosh said 14 to 17 and I said 15 or 16. Those are the same answer with the same average age of 15 yeah. and a half, right? So, or, or I'd maybe... say it's a 28 year old Latina robot with a big fat ass, but that's my preference. You're not a pedophile. I like older women. That's the weirdest part of all this. <laughs> did you ever, you met my, did you meet my previous girlfriend? I don't want to play the I'm not a pedophile game with you. 
I'm not playing it. I'm just saying. You're playing it. Oh yeah, you're playing it. You're like, by okay. the way, you're you're like, you're, I'm like, I'm like, I want to explain the line of questioning I was asking Vosh. You're like, by the way, can we just take a second to say that I even a five year old is not even big enough to be the single booty cheek of the woman I'm attracted to. The problem I get is you it. brought you're up the sex robot. No, okay, but you brought up the sex robots, and I started thinking about what kind of sex robot I would want, and genuinely, I want a big fat ass on it. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay. I got I got a little horny with, from the question. It makes some okay. I I get angry whenever anybody says they're attracted to somebody who is over the age of eighteen. All right, because they're just they're all virtue signaling. Okay, so do you I think it's to, all virtue signaling? Do you believe? I think what you just did is virtue signaling, but I want to just get. I'm trying to, to be honest, but yeah, sure. Virtue signaling doesn't have to be dishonest. Sure. Yeah, I'm saying. Oh, but I'm better. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, let me say I'm not better than anyone who's attracted uh, to the underage sex robot. Have... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, doesn't that feel good? Come back in the mud with me for a second. It feels uh, good. I want to be in the hot tub with you. <laughs> okay. So I wanted to ask him that to get yeah. away from any virtue signaling. Well, he's going to cover a lot of this. Do you want to? Let's let's hear how he characterizes it. Wait, I want to finish. Okay. Okay, okay. Finish. Finish. Okay. And because if we accept that this is real and happening or that not even that it's real, but that he and I both think it's real. Then you have a really interesting conversation you can have about what the fuck are we going to do about this? Cause we do think it's wrong. And yet we think that the average American man is most attracted to underage teens. How do we change sexual desires? That's, that's a very, uh, or how do we live with it? Yeah. How can we, we change it? it? Can we change it? Well, I think currently we live in a society where we are living with it. I think all the laws are set up to establish the fact that we know a lot of men want to have sex with uh, young women. Yeah. And that society goes, we acknowledge that's a desire you have. You're not allowed to do it for a number of very good reasons. In most states, you can, I mean, uh, maybe 40% of states, you can do it when they're 16. I think in Italy, it's 14. Yeah, so is that good? Oh, well, the only reason to do that is because men want to. Is it, should we do that? Or is that too young? I just feel like these are... There's a weird thing when you talk about like pedophilia on the internet where people pretend that the age of consent is 18 everywhere. Right. But it's, that, it's not true. So no. that's, a, that's up for discussion. What should the age of consent be? What's the... Like, how horny are men that were like, well, listen, it might not be good for you, but it should be 14 because these guys just really want to have sex with a 14 year old. That's that's not. I don't think that's a good justification, but that is the only reason. So I want to give a tip to everyone who is uh, clipping this argument out of context. This <laughs> is the age of consent section, so this is what's going to get you the most clicks. Go with Thank this you. part. There yeah. you go. All right, you want to hear this? Yeah. Essentially, I'll say our society broadly has a serious problem fetishizing young girls and no. people will look at that statement and, and they'll say, <laughs> oh, he's projecting, you know, he's not talking about society. He's talking about himself, which is insane. You know, uh, I insane. to think that, that the average man's sexuality would have anything to do with me is completely insane. Me who just got caught jerking off to Lollicon to think that this would have any reflection on my own sexuality is completely nuts. Now that's virtue signaling. What I just did, or what, no, you what just he's did? doing? <laughs> so I think what I just did. Might, <laughs> what he did, did was a little bit. And we're all yeah. a little bit. We're all getting okay. in on it. Okay. All right. Logic apply to all social critique. If I said that America has a problem with racism, for example, hypothetically, if you if you could imagine such a world, uh, is that. Which Andy's is that not racist. My own racism. Wow. Innately, here's an example of this exact thing happening live quite recently. Here we go the average American man would be most attracted to. Which hypothetical strip? Have you watched this yet? Have you seen this? Yeah. So you're aware that you were on Ethan Klein's uh, show? Yeah. All right. Recently. The average American man would be most attracted to. Which hypothetical strip club would be the most crowded if they all open tomorrow? I think it would be you somewhere from 14. Do not want to answer the question. No, I think it'd be somewhere from 14 to 17. I don't Which think we, one? we This motherfucker. It. Okay. Wants to fuck fourteen year olds. <laughs> that is a now. I think that's Ethan being very disingenuous, right? Yes. So I think it's totally fair to say, if if, if I had said like I think five year olds would be the most uh, common. That would one. be weird. Yeah. Well, so it would be it's weird. Not it would entirely make entirely in indicting, but it would be like what the well, fuck so, are you talking about? Yeah. yeah. Your reaction to that would be, well, the implication of what you're saying is that everyone is attracted to five year olds, but we're all pretending we're not. 
and <laughs> so suspicious. that and so that is susp- <laughs> yeah that would ma- that would make you think well it sounds like you're projecting right but if you say 15 society is openly sexually attracted to 15 year olds like that's this is not i think it's it's only on the internet that people are pretending that this isn't true human beings across the world are openly sexually attracted to 15 year olds this is not like a weird look at the middle niche. east they're all marrying like 15, look at the middle year olds. east i mean don't get me started on the middle east yeah, great it's like crazy what signaling doing. there but i'm just it's saying. crazy what they're doing over there <laughs> But there are in societies and, uh, you know, throughout time. Again, if you're looking for something to clip, this is the one. This is the part where you go. They're projecting. Okay. okay? We have If eyes. it was good enough for the medieval Europeans, I don't understand. There you go. Uh, we have yeah, we eyes. Okay. We can see what high school cheerleaders look like. All right. So we don't need this whole song and dance about, oh, it's project. I, we all know what high school cheerleaders look like. We know that the top category on Pornhub is teen. We know that if you opened a new site and you're like, hey, this, we have a special deal with Joe Biden where we can show 16 year olds fucking, it would be the most popular porn site on earth the day that it launched. So we don't have to pretend that like just because somebody is acknowledging this, that this means they are making a revelation about their own sexuality. Vosh is clearly talking about what he can plainly observe is happening in the world around him. I just want to point out that I, th- I find it kind of ridiculous that Ethan Klein is calling someone a pedophile while eating a burrito. Okay. <laughs> it's like... It's like who would be so much. Isn't this the kind of like thing that <laughs> They're both just chomping down on burritos. It doesn't make it seem like they really care, yeah. No, I don't think they really do. I, I think if you're really like, oh my god, this is the most horrible thing that happened, you gotta pick a lane. The lane can either be, we're gonna dress up in horse costumes and fuck around and eat burritos. And here, okay, we. this is a very... Here's the problem, guys. and, and uh, uh, We can't do this on YouTube anymore. Vosh should not be doing this on YouTube. YouTube is an ecosystem that is primed for, uh, it is not primed for any sort of serious discussion on any level. Yeah. It just, it can't happen. There needs to be a separate video platform that's like, Mr. Beast is not allowed here. There will be no trains slamming into things. There will be no grandmas with buckets of money. <laughs> uh, yeah, there you got. There will be no Nickelodeon slime compilations. I will say that okay. this is this is to this is an argument against what YouTube is doing. Where they're like, yes, you can talk about these things. You can show graphic uh, injuries and war footage. You can show nudity in certain contexts. You can talk about any offensive, disgusting, horrible thing. But also, we will just pump as many children into this platform as humanly possible. And so then you, yeah, you have conversations like the one we're having now are right next to Mr. Beast being like, I'm making a funny face, aren't I? <laughs> and Mr. Blumpkin, well, you'll have, okay, so you and Vosh will have a discussion, or like, let's say any discussion, and then Mr. Blumpkiss420 gets to go, look at this fucking, look at these fucking <laughs> pedophiles here, look at these fucking pedophiles here, and you're like, what is, what is the point of this fucking platform? What, what, what are we using this for? Yeah. It's good content. Andy Worski's going to make a fortune tonight calling me a pedophile. Good for him. Uh, let's skip ahead a little bit here. Get past Ethan Klein. Okay, Vosh defending himself. That guy I'm talking to in that clip, Mr. Girl. Uh-oh. Is- Uh-oh. 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 Here's the line. Here we go. Well, if he's not a pedophile, he does an amazing impression of one. Oops. Okay. Thanks. You're an excellent impressionist, according to Vosh. I want to. I want to. I want to lash out, Vito. I don't blame you. I mean, like, uh, it's like, I, yeah. All anything, anytime I'm doing an impression of a pedophile, including in the conversation with Vosh, is because someone just called me a pedophile to save themselves or to make money basically for no reason and yes i have a special psychological disorder where when someone calls me a pedophile i have to act like one but that doesn't make me a pedophile i think it's uh look uh let me do a split screen here i'm just defensive you're defensive but you're also you see the humor in bad arguments Right? 
you see mm. Vosh stumbling and bumbling or oh hey you're the pedophile i do and you naturally go oh i'm the pedophile okay all right (laughs) that's what we're doing okay i also see the humor in anger yeah like you know when a teacher you know when you're in school you're like second grade the teacher comes in and they're like no more laughing during this test if any one of you says or does anything no more recess for the rest of the year then of course any the joke challenge. that is made any yeah any joke that is made after that is the funniest joke ever and i feel like that with the pedophile thing they're like okay this is this thing yeah and so i think with my cuties review people are like we're not we are not going to talk about this in a way that is humorous at all and it's like i have to there's we no humor. To. There's no humor in the fact that uh, Netflix took a art house French film, renamed it Cuties, and made a <laughs> poster with a bunch of girls. Clip this as well. Clip this. We're laughing about Cuties. Yeah. How are you it's saying terrible. there's no humor into that? That is funny. That's fun. Have you the poster? You're like, oh my god, you're gonna piss everybody off. How are you not gonna laugh at that? That's crazy what they did. Uh. uh all right. <laughs> So uh, Vosh, Vosh is saying that, again, you made a joke, and that's why you're... A, a joke in direct response to him calling you a pedophile. And you you did what... Okay, when you make someone uncomfortable, when I say... And it's not just the pedophile stuff. I go, you're a racist. We see this all the time. You're a racist. Yeah. Someone yeah. goes, yeah, I am a racist. Fuck uh, China. You know, you go, you're a yeah. sexist. You know, I'm not a sexist. I beat my wife as equally as I beat my stepson. Right. Okay. Yeah. yeah you make a little. You brush it off. You know. But we live Netflix, in an era of clips of uh, ne- taking that out of context. Netflix still every once in a while is like you know how they have the watch it again thing. Yeah. They'll just throw cuties on my homepage. And they're like <laughs> trying to fuck with you. Yeah. They're like, are you sure you're done with this film? <laughs> you sure. Maybe watch it again. There's some good parts. They're too old to watch it now. It ruined yeah. it. Yeah. Somebody sent me, uh, somebody said, because that film came out when in uh, France? Uh, ages ago. Yeah, I think they're they're 18. I, w- I kind of want to try to get one on my podcast. That would be a get. Yeah. Uh, the film came out in France in 2020. How old I don't know if they, they speak the English. 14? The actresses were 12 to 14. So I think some so of them are Well, at least eight. one of them is 18 at this point. Yeah. You could bring them on. You can go, hey, has your life truly been ruined? You were victimized. And find out the real story. All right. Let's uh, let's see the context. Say that much. And he, he spent that entire goddamn debate being a creepy piece of shit to me, asking me <laughs> weird fucking questions. I think when he first got on call, he That's wanted to talk signaling. about how he thought he could have debated Hitler out of doing the Holocaust. You know, it started funny. Co- I think you could have debated Hitler out of doing the Holocaust. I don't think that's what I said. I think what I said is that I think... We should speak to people who disagree with us. Even as if they're vile. They, even if they're vile and have empathy for our political enemies. And then Vosh was like, well, what about Hitler? Do you, so you think you could have just talked Hitler out of the Holocaust? Trying to corner me and make me look stupid. And I just said, yeah, sure. That's what I mean, Vosh. Again, well, you would have gave it a try. You're not saying you would have won, but you would have made an effort. Yeah, we were talking about the Civil War. My point is that um, I think what I was saying about the Civil War is that we have a narrative that the Civil War was a good thing, that we ended slavery through this horrible war that resulted in like the most American deaths of any war ever. But we still think of it as like, oh, that had to happen. And so I was saying, I think that if you compare it to a better outcome where there was no war and slaves were freed with nobody dying, then it's actually an awful tragedy. And my point wasn't that I can debate Hitler out of the Holocaust. My point was about how we frame history in ways that are pro-war and pro-violence, and we don't necessarily have to. It would be better. Mr. Girl, uh, you're being accused of being a nihilist. Would you agree with that assessment of your character? Mr. Girl is a nihilist, which is interesting because his character is extremely concerned about the well-being of humanity. He wants to bring you to his level, which is a permanent dialectic. I've never interpreted you as a nihilist. If, in fact, I am annoyed by your uh, interest in bettering uh finding a better good yeah i th- i think a nihilist is um somebody who not only accepts 
the inevitability of death, but then extrapolates that to mean that there's no point that in therefore helping anybody. Yeah, that therefore means there's no point in doing anything. I think I just I because of death that means everything we do is ephemeral, but that doesn't mean it's pointless. It has a point now and it has a point as I think of what I'll do in the future and it has a point as we reflect on what we've done in the past. Yeah. It's just that at a certain point you lose the ability to reflect because you die, but that doesn't mean that it didn't happen. I so would think I I'm more nihilistic than you. Uh, yeah, you, I think you're quite a bit more cynical than I am. You yeah. stopped me from working for Russia. I was going to make Russia great again, and you, you put an end to it. I did. I said I didn't think that you should do that. <laughs> I did screenshot all of Russia today's uh, DMs from their Twitter account, though. Good. Some interesting people they were talking to. You should make a video about that. I don't know if I would get in legal trouble for that. You should talk to a lawyer. The information is not nearly as interesting and incriminating as it could be. I will say Kim.com talked to Russia today a lot. If you know that guy. I'm going to go to jail. Uh, okay, let's get back into this. I think you Quick. should talk to a lawyer and then make a video about this. It's fascinating. I have him saved somewhere. I was like, eh, I'm not going to have this uh, access to this Twitter account very long. Might as well screenshot everything Russia Today has ever said to anybody. Okay, here we go. Crazy like that. But <laughs> over time, it just got creepier and creepier. And eventually, I, I just kicked him uh, from the call in disgust. He's one of the reasons that I don't have a debating all comers policy anymore. You know, you got to filter some of these people. Oh, you, Yeah, because some, uh... some, some people show up and they're better at debating than you. And you can't control the conversation. So you don't he want that. He does debate really stupid people now. Yeah. I mean, the again, the, the concept that Vosh was so disgusted by my hypothetical that he had to clutch his pearls and kick me, yet he also masturbates to Lolly is very, and argues for the, that <laughs> CP should be legal. Even if he's just doing it as a rhetorical device, the idea that all those things are true is very... It strains credibility. All right, we got to burn through this because we got to talk about the lolly folder. Let's just. So, all right, uh, where's the context? Yeah, let's go. Right? Well, here's a clip from that debate of Mr. Girl asking me that question the first time. Here's a thought experiment. I'm gonna, I'm gonna open. Right, a, we know, uh, we know the thought experiment. Do we need to see a it again? Um, string of. Stri You're gonna open a strip club. It's robot strippers. What age would you be comfortable with? And... <laughs> a number. I will absolutely not pick a number within the range. Because you don't have a guess, or because you don't want to be clipped saying it. Because I don't. Because I don't even know by what category you would distinguish into that group, and because I'm referring only to my feelings on other people's predilections, not to my own. So you're not asking me for my preference. You're asking me what I expect of the average American. No, a group of which I have a very low impression. Okay, but you don't want to say the number. I don't. I don't have a number. Do you have a number? Is there a number you're looking for? You can just say 16. I don't get. Yeah. Why yeah. So, so well, no. So point. so the reason I was asking him that is he said 14 to 17. Which is a very it is safe, a pretty broad range when you think about it. It's a very it. safe answer because he gets to say, on so if you say, do you think America has a problem with sexualizing fourteen year olds? As a negative, you say, well, yeah, of course, it's terrible what they're doing. But then if you present it neutrally, it's much more scary. Do you think the average American man is is attracted to fourteen year olds, or do you think it's common to be attracted to fourteen year olds? If you say yes to that, then you sound like a pedophile. So then if you say 17, 14 to 17, 14 to 17, you get a w little wiggle room so that when it's framed as a positive, you can skew towards 17 and say, well, you know, it's legal in most states. And then when it's skewed, skewed as a negative, you can then meander back down to 14 and say, oh, it's terrible how children get abused. So do you interpret this as Vosh, like just playing an optics game, being like, I can't have an honest conversation on this because then I'm going to sound like a pedophile? Um, I, th I interpret it. I was giving him a total many outs and just say, just say, you don't want to answer the question. That's fine. I'm not going to push you and I'm not going to call it's you pedophile. Cause, yeah. I'm not, I'm saying, I'm not going to call you a pedophile. If you answer, say you don't want to answer, it's fine, but you have to admit that you're not answering my question. That's what I can't stand. The yeah. optics game about whether you're playing an optics game. The optics game is fine. You're a public pers person. You are on YouTube, which has strict rules. There are crazy people out there who will target you if you say the wrong thing. You've already gotten in trouble for saying something that people interpreted as defending pedophiles. So it's totally fine if you want to be careful about this conversation. And I'm willing to be careful about it with you. But you can't 
be careful and say 14 to 17 and then pretend that you're giving the most direct honest answer to my question at the same time and then when i point out that that's not true call me a pedophile that's that is disingenuous i think my answer is 16 i think even with a robot people would just be so uncomfortable uh what if they didn't know the ages of the robots and they had to just go by what they, they had to just like? look at them i think they would still go that looks like a 14 year old and uh I think they would just be uncomfortable with it. I don't know. But that's me basing it on American attitudes. I think if you went to a different country, they would just go, yeah, the, the, whatever the youngest one is, I don't care. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I don't th not one-year-olds, but like they'd go yeah. like to 14, I think. Uh, all right, let's take a look. I think, it's, I think it's 15. You're only one year off from my guess. Well, I suppose we'll leave it to the historians to judge. The historians? What the fuck does that mean? Uh... Maybe sixteen. It might be. I think it would be fourteen at first, and then it would, it would move up once the novelty wore off. I think it would be fifteen or sixteen. Is this consideration in line with your desire to empathize with pedophiles, or is it something more personal than that? What, what do you mean? Fucking that? Snake. Well, I mean, you sound like a pedophile, not a so person who wants look to. Look at my rage. That's me losing my temper. The way you're upset that you've been called a pedophile. You're trying to have a good faith discussion. Yeah. So, uh, so it is imperceptible, probably. But between well, when he said that, so smoothly. yeah. Well, between when he says that and I say, "What do you mean by that?" I have completely and utterly snapped to the point where I am, compl I am a hundred percent willing to destroy my and Vosh's careers and reputations. If you put a button in front of me to just burn everything to the ground, I would push it. Wow, you mask you mask it well here. And again, yeah. the, the comedy is an acceptable defense mechanism. You have leveled an insane accusation against me. Uh, and I'm going to react by mocking it because that's one of the few ways to escape such an accusation. Blame us aligned people. Why do I sound like a pedophile? Because you're dedicating a considerable amount of thought to the subject of what type of underage girl people would be most interested in. <laughs> what color, if you had to guess what color their underwear would be, Vosh, what, what right. would you say? Yeah, okay. Anybody could say, Vosh, you've devoted a lot of consideration to whether child pornography is worse than cobalt. Or you've well, devoted a lot of uh, consideration to what a lollycon person really... You're doing the exact same thing you're criticizing yeah. people for doing. Why would you talk about it? The reason you're talking about it is clearly because you're a pedophile. Okay, also... The only reason I've been talking about it for a long time is because I asked you the question like ten minutes ago. Just answer, like if you just answer, if you just if you just said sixteen, or said I don't want to answer. Yeah, sixteen or I don't know, whatever, just whatever the answer is. Then it's not. I'm spending a long time dealing with your bullshit, not talking, not thinking about this topic. You see that? You people ask for uh, you people ask for debates, and what do we get? I am explicitly talking get a big about pussy. a widespread social failure to address, prevent, or discourage predation against young girls. Nothing Same thing Mr. Girl's talking about. About my yes. language even remotely implies that I'm describing my own preference. Uh, Same goes for Mr. Girl. I think you'd have to be really goddamn dishonest or or stupid. Like you! Oh my god! That's what or, or you're doing! It's Maybe the you, same you exact thing. We have a broader social issue when it comes to the fetishization oh, I want to of young girls. And, and, and my belief that such a problem exists <laughs> is just me projecting my own desires. You know, if you really think that... If really dishonest. Well, yes, if you wait, what? <laughs> yes, that is the, the Mac, same thing. really dishonest to take that conversation and call him a pedophile. Mr. Girl, <laughs> that's fine. But if you took okay. that conversation and said, Vosh, uh, it's mind blowing. In a way. So when I ask the question you by itself, the same discussion. I ask the same question and I gave the same answer as him. Yes. You but that means I'm like a pedophile. Kid. But if he does that, but also says child porn is morally defensible and he jerks off to Lolly and shows his folder to his uh, audience of children, then I am the. I understand. It's very, it's very disingenuous. It's very disingenuous. Stop throwing me under the bus. Find a real pedophile, a real child molester, and throw them under the bus. Don't. Why me? What did I do? I think, I, and that's why I say I think Vosh is not an honest man. I think he knows <laughs> he is optically dishonest. He goes, ah, yeah, I mean, Mr. yeah, Girl, look at that. Everyone fucking hates face. Mr. Girl. I can make myself look better by going, well, of course I said to this awful. A pedophile impressionist, uh, you, know, <laughs> you know, of course I, I reacted to him, but I'm the good guy here. Uh, and don't worry about my folder full of uh, Japanese okay. yeah. hentai so, of little girls. So Vaj's argument ultimately is I have a pedo radar and it 
go it went off when I talked to Mr. Girl, but when I watch myself jerking off to Lollicon, I don't even get a little ding. <laughs> I know I'm not one of those awful, awful pedophiles. That makes sense. They're the worst. Uh real quick, a couple super chats. Real Smith says about you. He's so deconstructive that he melts people's self-narratives, which makes the people he speaks to feel like nihilists themselves. That's right. So we, we almost can't measure up to Mr. Girl, and it makes us think that nothing we value has value. It's a tough, it's a tough thing. Koof says, thank you all for not killing yourselves. Thank you, Koof. You're welcome. And Jacob Berryhill for five says, who out there is horse maxing, <laughs> and doing a lot of squats and stretching out my weenie? They do it's have called, very long uh, penises. That's called jelking. Is that that you're jelking it? Yeah. The thing about the horse penis is, is, is insane to me is the uh, the big flat tip. Ooh, yeah, it's intimidating. It's so weird. Yeah. I saw my cat's penis once. I was rubbing uh, my cat's belly, and I looked down, and I said, "What the fuck?" And I went, "Oh my god, that's your penis." And I, I'd never want to see it again. I was like, wait, what am I, is this, are you getting off on this belly rub right now? I was really uncomfortable. And now anytime I rub his belly, I'm like, all right, well, don't get too excited, buddy. Okay. I was talking about this with a friend of mine. Yeah. Who was like, uh, I think said a similar thing. He was talking about his cat. Yeah. And then I was like, wait a second. If you rub a human's belly, they get a boner too. Do they? I guess. Yeah. Like if you, you you take a, take a guy, random guy, strip him naked. Put him on all fours, scratch his head, scratch his ears, rub his belly, he'll get a boner. And so, yeah. but when, a, when an animal does it, we're like, oh, why are you getting a boner? This isn't sexual. I'm just rubbing your nipples. <laughs> I do worry when I'm rubbing uh, my cat's belly. I'm like, oh, that's a nipple. I don't know. Are you getting off on this? God of course. Well, I just imagine they're a human. A human would be my writhing. My cats are and fixed, though, so I have to hope that whatever parts I ripped out of them. Uh, to please God, are uh, are not reacting. Right, dude. Here says sup, Vito. Hey, sup. All right, let's hear about Vosh's. Okay, look, he's got a he's got a folder. He's got an XXX gifts folder, which means he sorted his lolly. He likes it. He likes the short stack goblin girls. Uh, let you want to hear his explanation here. I wanted to. I wanted to make better a, than you. I wanted to make a cartoon of of Vosh being hauled off in handcuffs for child porn and then he says to the judge it was in my to be sorted folder <laughs> make the judge a goblin and she can be frowning <laughs> <laughs> and the jury all horses every single one uh, to be sorted. All right, let's hear about the to be sorted folder. So yeah. after all that, now we we finally arrive uh, at this most. Let's. Uh, I do want to check real quick. Your chapter is from twenty twenty eight to uh, <laughs> almost thirty eight. So about ten minutes. 10 so he minutes. spends more time talking about me than about one oh eight to about equal. Okay. I want to say yours the same. Is, he spends okay. as much time talking about. How you are an awful pedophile impressionist. Yeah. As guys, I just, when I see a little girl getting railed by a horse cock, I can't help but hit that right click. I don't, I don't, I don't understand. What is there to say other than, like, yes, That's I jerk. What I, I would say, I would have put out a, hey, look, I'm not going to have to make that video because you're not seeing what's in my porn folder. Okay, it's a lot of <laughs> choking and slapping and hitting. No. Uh, but if this happened to me and for some reason I would go, guys, yeah, I'm into some uh, kinky shit. What are you going to do? And if that, Ethan Klein wants to say I'm the worst guy in the world, what can I do? Uh, instead, he's got a very, very... He has to be clear. He's not a, a pedophile. How could he be? He loves uh, making arguments to help kids. Let's Recent drama. The, the incident that lit a fire under drama YouTube and is, to my mind... The only thing I've done in the past four years that actually actually looks bad. It's pretty fucking embarrassing, okay. to say the least. So there I was, uh, streaming a few weeks ago. Bra That's that line. I, I hate to stop it, but did he write this down? Because that felt yeah. like acting. It's pretty embarrassing, yes. to say the least. It's pretty fucking embarrassing, to say the least. Even that little <laughs> smile, that little canned smile. Can you believe it, guys? Can you believe it? So there I was, uh, streaming a few weeks ago, browsing a men's fashion site. 
I wanted to look at an image more closely, so I right-clicked to open the image in a new window, uh, but then accidentally instead clicked the Save As tab in the right-click drop-down menu. Uh, now, because I am, as has been extensively demonstrated in this video, a fucking idiot, my okay, preferred okay, strategy okay. for keeping my desktop clean is to keep a single big folder called To Be Sorted, where every image, document, music file, whatever, I happen to download, gets sent. Uh, th this is an insane thing to have as a live streamer, but, you know, there you go. It, Monkey Bros asks, is this really a two-hour apology video? Oh, it's only one hour, 42 minutes. Come on. It's me. It's not only about the horse porn. It's, well, it's not even an apology. It's a, you don't understand me. There is no apology here, I don't think. It's an apology for maybe past uh, being too edgy at one point. So I hit save as, and a half second later, uh, a preview window of the folder and its contents popped up on stream. And now, of course, that folder had porn in it. So I immediately ended the stream and deleted the VOD, even if it weren't just embarrassing to make a mistake like that as one of the largest political live streamers on the platform. It's TOS. Uh, you got to delete the VOD. So uh, I, I stream with no delay and folks are always screen capturing the feed. So I, I knew the contents of my to be sorted folder uh, and the preview window were irrevocably public knowledge. But to be honest, that didn't really bother me too much. Uh, it was embarrassing, sure, but mostly because Okay. What the? F stop t rambling. I don't want to listen to this. I know, Shut up. It, it goes on forever. He has to Get to the fucking everything. point. Get to the okay. cum shot. I will say it is weird that he goes, I wasn't worried about people seeing it. Well, what do you mean? Why not? Uh, did you not? He's really going with this. I was completely ignorant as to the idea that this. Yes. Lollicon content was in there. I didn't even. Yes. I don't even know how I got in there. Guys, yes. I don't even know how I got in there. Yeah. Because it made me look like a careless idiot. Not because I was ashamed of the like. Furry demon monster GF Lolly. This is going to be his I knew cope. I is that it's all I rambled monsters. about liking all that stuff on stream it's before, not a secret. And I thought, you know, maybe uh, in a way, this fuck up would come across kind of charming. You know, like uh, uh, that's my streamer, that fucking idiot right there. My community was already making a big joke of it by the time I went live again. Of course, I knew as soon as the folder opened on stream that it would be pretty easy for people to lie about what it contained to stir Ooh. up drama or cause. That's a dodge. Ooh. They're lying Ooh. about what's in there. Okay. Cause me trouble or for any other reason. So when later on, I've seen what's in, God, it's it's uh, one of the images is two girls. One they look they're definitely younger than fourteen by anime standards. One of them's being oh. railed by a big black guy while the other one uh, licks her snatch. Like, uh. <laughs> What are you talking about? Oh, it's demons and shit. It wasn't. I mean, am I going to jail because I saw what was in Vosh's folder? I don't know, but I'm, it wasn't like he's really obfuscating. Me. In that stream, one or two people came into chat and they said, uh, hey, there was Lolly in there. And, you know, I figured they were just causing trouble and I banned them. Of course, we know where this is going. Uh, by the next day, Wait. I had learned from what felt like he's going with the ignorance defense. He's saying, "Yeah, he's like, he's like, I, I had lol, and I went, no, I don't, because I, I, <laughs> so I banned anyone from my community who yeah. thinks that I look at lolly." <laughs> how? Here's the thing. I don't like how this is told from a first person perspective. It doesn't make sense to tell your sexual misconduct, whatever. If you, if you think it's wrong to jerk off to lolly, it doesn't make sense to tell the story of like from like so the so it was tuesday morning i had just taken a shower and i was like don't tell it like that <laughs> it's also look i believe now i don't save a lot of porn images to my computer uh i'm sure i've done it uh but if i save an image to a porn folder it's not like this obsessive like Right click save as right click save as right click save as it means i've seen that picture and i go hey that chick's pretty hot uh, let me put that in a folder for later and I'll come back. You know, it's a good one. I don't want to lose this one. Yeah. I've never accidentally saved something and come back and go, oh, man, I didn't realize I was an eight year old. Oh, fuck. Like, it just, it, how does that, he's trying to say how, I thought they were a goblin or whatever. Yeah, you, but you haven't sorted it, but you looked at it. Like, you chose to save the picture. Something about folder. it spoke to you in a sexual way. Right. You so got, okay. You got turned on by it. You must have, because otherwise you, were, you wouldn't have saved it. You were jerking off. So what does it what does it mean that you got turned on by it? And he's saying it's immoral to get turned off on by it. So that's why I'm saying I got confused and I 
It doesn't make any sense, really. I can't even, like, find a way to make this work in my head. The entire goddamn internet, the two of the images in my folder preview window, uh, were actually from a well-known Lolicon artist, and therefore... De Hold on, is the reverb on my mic fucked? I do kind of hear, like, an echo. Is there something? You sound fine to me, so it would, be, it would be on You're, your... You sound fine to me, so... It might be on your stream, not on... Um... Well, he's the first person to say it. Maybe we're talking okay. about Vosh's reverb. Definitely it intended to be lolly shit, which has to be the worst possible way to find out about that sort of thing. Now, obviously, the accusation here isn't just that I had those images saved. That part's true, not really an accusation. But also that I must have known uh, that they were lollycon and saved them because... Does Do you need to know something is lollycon for it to be a moral... I mean, okay... He's establishing that it's immoral to consume. Yeah, it, right? I don't think it's I don't think it's immoral to consume Lolly. Do you? I'm trying to think. I don't. Th <laughs> well, I want to know what the best is. It immoral to consume it? Like seek it? out? Do you think it's immoral to consume Lollycon? At the end of the day, I have to say it's drawings. So no, I do, I don't think you can ever make any argument that. You know, people will try to make the argument that, well, a drawing is going to encourage people to do certain things. Well, but I think there's so many steps in between it that I, I can't go, well, the guy who made it, you know, I can't say he's immoral. I can't say the guy who consumes it is moral. I can say the guy who sees it and then takes action is immoral. And I think that's totally reasonable. Uh, but Vosh is saying that looking at it, consuming it is immoral, right? He's saying that creating it is immoral. I think he's saying, I think before he said that it has some relationship to your actual feelings about children. But even if that's the case, that means your actual, if, if we're making the argument that your feelings towards children are the immorality, that, that still does not have anything to do with the creation or the looking at of a thing. Now, if he's saying it's indicative of a person who may be morally compromised... I don't know is if that he's moral. I don't know if he thinks pedophiles inherently are morally compromised. Jacob says just... Vito makes it so hard for him to beat the allegations. I'm not beating the allegations. I don't care anymore. <laughs> People can say whatever the fuck they want. It's the internet. Uh, it sounds like he's saying it's bad and being attracted to it is bad, but it's okay. I don't think he's I saying it's bad. It. I don't know if he's necessarily saying it's bad. He's just saying it isn't him. Well, his argument has been in the past, and he has quotes of this. He's saying anyone who consumes that content. Uh, should be viewed with a critical eye because it may be indicative of something else. Sure, uh, but that that, that doesn't mean that doesn't itself is bad. It it could be a correlation between a more they're more likely to do something bad. But I don't think he thinks it. But in I'm itself saying more is bad. honest for him to say, I have recognized that this content, and he's going to make some. You know what? Let's just listen to his argument. Okay. They were lolicon. Now. The obvious and predictable, but nonetheless true response from me is that no, I didn't know that. And that must not have been the uh, impression I got from those two drawings, because if I had gotten that okay impression, download, then uh, I wouldn't... Is it okay if Vosh downloads child pornography if he doesn't know it's child pornography? If he goes, oh, yeah, well, yeah I, he's, I, he's, I, he's, he's saying if I... He's saying my penis is a perfect radar that detects underage people. And so right. if I download it and jerk off to it, then it, by definition, can't be... I have face Lolly blindness, your, your, your uh, honor, and that, that, that eight-year-old looked uh, 20 years old is what it have know. saved them, you know. I mean, drawings are abstractions, and art styles and body proportions vary massively, even for characters that are unambiguously adults. That doesn't mean lolly shit isn't a thing or a problem. I've bitched about it being a problem, like, a lot on stream. It just means that carelessly or inattentively failing to notice it isn't exactly impossible. Yeah, I, I know uh, it's, not well, it's such a big problem, but also it can just like sneak past you. Then it doesn't sound like a very big problem. If it's all like this uh, ambiguous yeah, uh, yeah, so, drawing. So we agree that if you accidentally molest a child because you thought they were older, that is the problem because it causes damage. That's statutory rape, yes. Right, so if you accidentally jerk off to Lolly because you thought the characters were older, then what what does it matter if you jerk off to it knowing they're younger? Like, it doesn't do it. If if you can do it by accident and nothing happens and you can keep doing it accidentally and it will never change anything, then what does it matter if you do it on purpose? It's He's making a good point about, like, the anime community needs to police this shit. Some people are going to say, you know, no, uh, you must have known. There's no way you didn't know. And, like, yes, you knew. I think you knew. How could you not? Okay, there isn't even a thing to know. It's not a real person. Right. It doesn't even make sense. I didn't know the age of the fictional character I was jerking off to. It doesn't mean it doesn't mean anything. The if thing they're reacting off to Sailor Moon porn, and it turns out that she's fifteen in the anime. It doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't. 
they're it, reacting to the way her body looks, not to her actual age in the fictional story. See, this is where, again, I think he's not stupid enough to be making these arguments. No, he's just he's, dragging it out so people will get tired and stop thinking about it. Well, let's be real. This is an hour into the video. you got to sit through an hour and eight minutes before you finally get to, yeah, I jerked off to, you know, an anime uh, lolly or whatever. But how do you even know how old these goblins are? You can't know. Like, like what am I going to do? Make a, a fucking evidentiary argument here? You know, like, I'm not putting up the images so we can argue about the, the pixels or the proportions. Oh, I'm a pedophile because I want you to defend yourself. I'm, I'm the pedo because I want you to put up the image. You want me to put up my images of my lollycon? You fucking pedo? <laughs> Fucking Christ, it's so convoluted. have heard about this drama, haven't seen the images, nor do I think those people should go looking for them, obviously. So it's pretty much entitled. Oh, you shouldn't even look at the images I looked at. <laughs> you, you're a pedo if you, look at, <laughs> if you look at my child porn, you're a pedo. <laughs> what kind of a sick fuck? What kind of a sick fuck is interested in looking at my child porn? The FBI, you're in court. The defending counsel goes, now we've redacted <laughs> some of these images, but these are the images that this man was looking at. And you point at that uh, prosecutor and you go, you looked at the images? You're a fucking pedophile. <laughs> I didn't know that. I didn't know it was child porn when I was jerking <laughs> off at it. You're the one who looked at it knowing what it was. <laughs> and the bailiff, the judge goes, he's right. And the, the bailiff steps forward and cuffs the prosecutor and you're carried out of the courtroom on the shoulders of the jury for identifying this horrible pedophile who looked at the child porn folder that you created. Vindication. You sound like a fucking pedophile. I would never. What you want? You want people to look at those images? Well, you fucking. Oh my god! All right. Entirely a take me at my word or don't kind of situation where people are free to lie about the drawings, or as I've already seen on Twitter, just post other really bad looking shit and say that's what I had in my folder. There's not much I can do about it, right? Uh, it's all totally unfalsifiable, and people are going to make whatever assumptions and Wait, inferences. It's unfalsifiable. They what are you talking really about? It's not. Just put the image up and be. Just put. You don't have to put it up on YouTube. Just tweet out the images and say these you are the pictures. You tweet out a censored image. You know, you don't have yeah. to show the vagine or the body. Yeah, just draw underwear on them, like whatever. And you can choose well, what color. You can choose what color. <laughs> I don't think that'll help him. I'm just saying you can cover them up in a way so it's legal or it follows Twitter TOS and say, do you, th or f just saying there is a way to disclose what was in your folder and make a public statement Look, I'm about not it. The idea that it's unfalsifiable. That. The idea yeah. that no, no, but the to but the he's claim, made the argument that like that would be insane or whatever. He's claiming that it's unfalsifiable what people are saying is in his folder, as if he can't just show us what was in the folder. But he can. He could very. He could say, "Listen, for full transparency, there's a lot of people showing fake images. Here yes. are the contents of this folder in full." Yes, you get to put on a Google Drive uh, link or whatever. They have been censored so that there's no uh, legal guidelines. If you he can just put the URL to the original image and just say, yeah. here's the original thing. Here's where I downloaded it from. Uh, yeah, I mean, I not, think optically it, everyone would go, now Vosh is posting child porn. So I understand why he doesn't want to do that. But he could just say, listen, if you truly want to seek out these images, there are people who will show them to you. And that, frankly... Uh, I don't think anyone will be, you know, you'll you'll see what the real images are and you can decide for yourself. If he said something like that, uh, but he's claiming it's impossible for everyone to know. Yeah. Uh, you say is that I didn't notice the problem while saving the drawings uh, the same way a person could fail to notice any element of any drawing if they were careless or inattentive or distracted. Uh, hell, the, the uh, chat. The How are you distracted the... looking at porn? You got like a bunch yeah, of windows you, open? You, I didn't notice the body of the woman I was looking at and the <laughs> porn I was looking at. When I look at porn, I'm usually looking at the porn. But... Yeah, it's not like we're saying there's a secret swastika hiding in the background of the Wally. We're saying that it's, yeah. it's just a drawing of a naked little girl. That's the thing. Two two naked little girls getting railed by a big uh, cock. Okay. Uh, that's what I believe is in there. Also pretty much immediately clocked to other drawings in the folder preview window as being AI art. Something else I didn't notice and uh, they gave me plenty of shit for that too, because I'm, I'm I'm not a big that's, fan of that's AI just art. why. Okay, he's obfuscating. Also, I hate AI art, and I downloaded AI art, so who uh, knows what I was doing? Yeah, you know, I, I think I've done a good job of demonstrating a tendency towards carelessness, if nothing else. So, leaving that uh, stupid least charitable argument aside, uh, someone might then ask, 
okay, I get it. It's possible to make a mistake like that. Why then would you save the images? I, I, what about them did you like? And look, there's really no way of saying this without sounding crass or flippant or whatever, but you know, it's, it's already pretty revealing Here video. Here we go. Hold on, hold on. Why did Vosh save the images? Uh, do you want to play Family Feud, Mr. Girl? <laughs> Top five answers probably, on the board. He's probably going to say he has a fetish for something else that was in the image. Top five answers on the board. Survey says fetish for other things on the images. So a very clear and simple ba, ba, explanation for why. Um, ba, you know, ba, not just ba. those two drawings, but in fact, all the drawings ba, in that folder ba. and all my porn tastes generally. Ba, and it's an explanation ba, ba. that is extremely well known ba, and well substantiated. Uh, I, I'm a size queen. I like big dicks. Yeah. There you go. He's off the hook. Survey says big dicks. Number one answer, off the hook, you have passed the pedophile check, Vosh. You have won uh, America's Next Top Not a Pedophile. And uh, your reward is a continued community that loves and respects you for the liar and the obfuscator that you are. This is really depressing. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> On a number of levels. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I just love big old dicks. All right. Sure. Fine. Why not? I was looking through drawn porn like furry or hentai or whatever else. I or saw whatever big old drawn dicks. I thought, cool. <laughs> and saved the drawings, whatever then never else. looked at them again, as evidenced by the fact they are in a big dump. What site were you on? Because I don't like when I look at porn, I'm not on a site that just flashes random images at me in succession and I choose which one I like, you know? Like, usually they're sorted into some sort of category, so you start seeing, you know, a lot of stuff in a row and you, oh my, I don't want to see any of this. Where? Yeah, I, I, this makes me want to just die. Well, don't worry, we all will at some point. Um, folder literally called to be sorted. That's... He was going to you know, sort it. That, that's the extent of the consideration. Okay, and as somebody pointed out, he says that you know it was waiting to be sorted, but then one of the folders, the preview image is another lolly image. So that was sorted. <laughs> uh, really? So I you lose that, that argument. Yeah, here, uh, we shared this before you came on. Uh, one of the previews for the solders is an unmistakable lolly gift from a lolly artist in his sorted folder, which recontextualizes the whole leak. Uh, there on the top of the preview in his sorted folder, he defended the art twice. I don't know. Maybe okay, was, so he just looks. Goblins. Okay, so he just looks at Lolly, and everything he's saying is a lie, and there's no point he in listening. Ma, to I mean, like, come on. Honestly, the better answer is to go. Listen, Japanese people are drawing fucked up shit. I just like big dicks. If he said I like big dicks, and I've been really lax in what the big dicks are going into, and now that I rethink it, I'm morally opposed. I realize they're little girls. Like, yeah, I'm really realizing I, increasingly that they're tiny little girls. I'm realizing my love of big dicks does not excuse little girls having big dicks enter them, and therefore I'm going to recommit myself to not watching little girls get plowed by big dicks, which I previously did consume. And uh, Just say you like Lolly. It's the easiest answer. Just say, yes, I like Lolly. What are they going to do? Well, I don't know. Maybe this, maybe, again, he's run the optics game. Let's be real. This is probably going to work. This is going to work on some level. If you but sat him down. The video is just a lie. There was no Yeah, point but everybody in... loves lies. They love it. They love it. Lying, liars are rewarded. He's being rewarded. Uh, his audience feels closer to him. Uh, there is a community building. Oh, he, he was he, had, he hadn't sorted his uh, lolly yet, guys. He, he hadn't sorted it. It does not become a crime until you sort okay, it. Okay, okay, okay. So in my in my cult essay, this is yeah. what I'm talking about. That the cult leader, get, and I'm saying I'm calling it a cult, not because I think Vosh's audience is literally a cult. I'm talking about this dynamic where the leader gives the audience, their followers, some in in group signal and argument that doesn't make sense but it's like a code that only works in the in group and so the to be sorted thing on its face doesn't make any fucking sense to anybody it's not a defense but it is a defense for his audience and it just widens the gap between like being a vosh fan and being a normal person and they like it 
They like that. They like it because it doesn't make sense. I'm gonna make a T-shirt, just a big Windows folder with like a blurry GIF to be sorted, and uh, I'm gonna sell that. I think that's a good shirt. Johnny Rockets says Vosh once said socialism is once socialism is achieved, we can abolish the age of consent because there's no power imbalance. He did say uh, that. He does address that in this video. So if you want his defense of that, you can find it. I don't. I don't care. He's a liar, and I don't care about anything he says ever again. Two for five says the picture was of the VTuber Natsuro Matsuri. Uh, I'm not sure which uh, picture in particular. She's an adult. Her avatar is clearly meant to be childish. Bosch is 100% lying about his ignorance. So it is a adult woman who portrays a child uh, on... I mean, it's still lolly proportions. And again, there were multiple uh, things in that folder. I gave those two drawings before my community and then the entire fucking internet. Hopefully corrected my mistake. Uh, it's hard to even say anything about it. You know, five seconds of a, uh, ooh, nice dick, cool line art, saved, and it's a whole discourse. Um, uh, you know, I wish I had an answer. Cool it was line art, but really, for so the lolly did have good line art. Good, good to know. Something like this, I feel like people are going to believe what they believe. I, you know, I do think there is a real argument to be made about carelessness, especially with regard to lollycon and its seeming omnipresence in the anime community. This you don't have to know much about anime to know that's an issue. Fucking uh, awful. With it. Yeah, I, I find it repellent, and I've been bitching about it for years. Plenty of that bitching has been on stream too. But it's possible to find something repellent while also not being perfectly vigilant about it. Uh, you know, especially in art. Where is it possible to find something repellent, but also jerk okay. off because it, it has a big dick in it? Here's what I want to do. I want to find all the images that were in his folder and other That'd images by the same artist. I'm going to do write a review of them. I'm going to jerk off to them. No. I'm going to write... Uh, yeah, I'm going <laughs> to jerk off to the... I'm going to jerk off to Vosh's Lollicon. I'm going to write right. a review about which which part... As my eyes ran over this part of the image, yeah. what I felt, what I was thinking, I'm going to describe... I'll give you a close-up of the exact pixel that my eyes were focused on when I blew mm. my load. It's a big pink uh, pixel there. Yeah. I think this I is... I mean, Vosh says it's okay, because you were just... You didn't sort it. As long as you don't organize it in any way. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna get sorted. All right, I'm gonna sort myself out to some lolly. And he's also so he's also. I think this is him saying, "Well, I didn't." Can I actually do this? this? Can I post uh, lolly on Substack? No, no. Are you sure? Are you sure? I don't think so. Maybe uh, you just censor it and you could post it. Oh, can I, I? I don't know. Can I post a link to lolly on Substack? I got to figure out if there's a way to do this. Please do not get yourself banned from another fucking platform. I don't want to get banned. I just want to well, review the lolly. You what's the review <laughs> Are you, look me in the eye and tell me this doesn't want to make you this doesn't make you want to jerk off to some lolly this whole thing no. this whole situation you're telling me i can't no but i can you're saying no. i can't but i can and I'm i will still thinking about a big ass latina sex robot yeah of course you are enjoy. of course you are a little virtue signaling for me stylization and abstraction right. can kind of uh i guess cloud awareness and judgment of the extent to which any artists you follow or people in the community might be so doing... just say it's drawings you can't figure it out it's too abstract that's it. That's a better argument. I'm sussy yeah. shit, right? Pardon me for taking my most indefensible position yet uh, on this, you know, in this video. Uh, in the history of my channel, I actually do like some anime, you know, and there's a lot of really good shit out there in the anime community broadly, and in a lot of the sick anime babes getting railed uh, on Twitter. You know, I'm, I'm sorry. Like, Based. often that is also cool. And I hate the fact that, you know, the you know, pervasiveness of, of Lollicon means that the entire community is tainted, basically, right? I don't like the fact that, like, you could be looking through what looks like a bunch of totally, like, normal, fine, cool uh, babes getting railed by big dicks, whatever you're into, you know? Well, oh, okay, but why is it okay? Like, you know, you're take, watching, like, Goblin girls get raped. That's also a crime. Like, you, you could life. take, take everything, earlier. you could take everything he's saying and just say it about real porn. Lots of yeah. real porn is underage porn. Lots of porn on Pornhub is underage porn. But you would never get out there and be like, oh, I like, wow, it's too bad that porn gets a bad name from the cyst. It's just, he's just blabbing. I don't want to listen to any more of this. I can't stand this anymore. Well, I was going to say, look, you're talking about cults. I think you got to, I think you have to hear this. <laughs> we have to audience. hear the for my audience. Okay. I think you I, have to hear this. Okay, I want to hear a few minutes of this, and I have to go. I can't. I understand. All right, we'll, okay. we'll blaze through it. So, yeah, that's okay. it. Uh, I'm done making all of the arguments about my past and how people perceive me and blah blah I, I want to take a second here at the end to directly address just my audience, um, what I'm hoping for in the future and what I'm asking for from them. Uh, 
you can still watch if you want. But uh, if you don't care, then you can leave without missing anything. Ooh, so to my message. audience, thanks secret for sitting message. through the whole thing. Uh, I, I know you don't have much of an attention span, uh, especially because you're not used to this type of content on the channel. Don't laugh. Live streamers only turn into video essayists when they're extremely nervous. Look, first of all, I, I want to apologize for making it so difficult to be a fan of mine uh, and a member of my community. Uh, seriously, I'm sorry. Uh, in this respect, at least, you know, I, I think I've let you guys down. I think you this is a, a well, great community, you, you know, exceptional <laughs> even. And as a consequence of my obstinance and carelessness and uh, stupid fucking debate bro hypotheticals, many of you have been ostracized from other online communities or, or, or harassed on my behalf. The content of this channel and my messaging is unambiguously progressive and inclusive and good spirited. You know, it's that, that, that might not be the popular conception of me and my content, but it remains true. Nevertheless, none of the people who enjoy my content for those reasons expected, I imagine, to be pushed out of other communities with similar values because they were a part of mine because of me and my reputation. Yeah, I don't want that to continue being the case, but I don't really know what I can do to change it. You know, there's already such a massive gulf between what I know I am and what people think I am. The inertia of the uncharitability that I'm trying to push back against, it just feels overwhelming at times. While I'm working on that, you can help, you know? I want you guys to chill. Stop fighting on my behalf. Uh, stop arguing for me against others, especially on the subject of this video. That's one of the reasons I made this video, you know? I, I saw so many people in my community tirelessly arguing against the worst. Well, this is interesting, because you're kind of speaking to what you were talking about, right? Uh -huh. This need to defend yes. your, uh, your God fi figure. And he's saying, don't defend me, but I don't, I think he knows that's not going to happen. After giving them f an hour and a half of defenses. Right. He's given them all they need to, but in a way, he's telling them, "Listen, cult, uh, you're clear. You're above them. You have." The he's telling them he wants them to, rem to give them that information. I know he's telling them to remain a cult, but not signal to other people that they're a cult because it makes them look even worse. He's telling the Scientologists just uh, stay the course, do the program, and. Uh, if Just do the part is... where you give me money and watch my content, but don't do the part where you go out and act like <laughs> fucking idiots. Wow. Well, the you most dishonest do? shit people say about me, and I wanted them to have something that they could point to. This video, five years of drama, of bad faith bullshit and honest skepticism, condensed and addressed as clearly and as honestly as I could. If you're in another community and someone is giving you shit because they think you support a pedophile, point them to this video. And if they don't want to watch it, mm, that's literally that's telling that. you know you, you, there's nothing that's telling you can them to defend you. Yes, yeah, spread the word and defend me. Don't defend me, but send them a link to my hour forty minute defense. Yeah, cool. If they don't watch it, then they they're who cares? They didn't want to yeah. read uh, L. Ron <laughs> Hubbard's writings, so then they're not deserving to be saved. Yes. When Z exactly returns, do about it. It's it's their choice. If they don't take the Bible, then they burn in hell. That's it. Choice, right? This is something that we've seen time and time again. People don't just change their minds because you've argued them out of a point. I mean, it's very rare. You have to make people. All right, give me the final word, Vosh. What's the final word? Look at all this bad, whatever. But if you if you equate, I mean, again, I I really really do think through all this. I've well demonstrated, you know, that the, the pedo jacketing people do to me is is not justified by the evidence at all. You did it in this <laughs> fucking video! You pedo jacketed Mr. Girl! Why? Oh, I want to... I, I don't... Uh, I'm as infuriated as you, because it's just like hypocrisy on every level. Well, I think there's a much more charitable and accurate explanation, but it's still a serious topic, right? So when people equate that serious topic with like, oh, he wants to be the horse, if you equate those two things or like hold them in equal regard, or you're jumping back and forth between making horse jokes and like serious pedo accusations. I don't know that 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 just comes across weird to me. Does that make sense? Like that that like it, it betrays to me, I guess, like a, a perceptual unseriousness. It, it 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 makes me feel like it's all just a big nothing, and no one actually cares. You know, I I don't give a shit about the horse jokes. Um, you know, you're, it's all like content mill drama bullshit. Like who cares? Oh, he also said no. Uh, we're not going to make any jokes about uh, pedophile stuff anymore. We're not going to lean into it. Uh, uh. 
from now on, that kind of talk is banned from my channels because uh, it only gives people more fodder. So he does have an instruction. We got one minute, uh, less than a minute left. Nothing matters beyond its ability to get like clicks or views. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, just just dumb, dumb to see that. You know, I, I, there's a lot of work to be done. This is an election year. A lot of news has happened. Mm -hmm. Reese has legalized gay marriage. That's pretty mm -hmm. cool. They've, they've, okay. they've yeah. reinvented this is the the think of the I greater know. good Catholic priest argument. Continue. Think about well, how I've much always we can get done if you guys just ignore this. <laughs> yeah. and making friends and it's never been easy for me don't look at the dead hooker in the trunk don't worry, don't look at it and it's going to be a lot harder now but i guess that just means that i'll have to try twice as hard to do and to say good things and give people a good impression of me i don't know if it's even possible to climb out of an optical black hole like this but i believe in the work that i do and i think i've got a pretty great community uh so you know Maybe it's possible. Uh, you know, I'll be back to streaming soon. I've already missed too much news. Don't get into any fights over me. It's fine. It's it's a good community. He has this like cult leader quality. Yes. To him, what huh? a narcissistic douchebag to say the best thing for America and the best thing for progressives is for people to have a high opinion of me. The and best thing for our movement. The best thing for the movement is the best thing for me. But don't get in fights over me. It's just lip service. Of course he wants think, people to fight for I think for there's him. a... I, look, man, if this guy bought a boat and uh, started sailing around and Sea Oregon his way across the world, I would not be surprised. I'm surprised he hasn't tried to set up like a socialist church where he can just preach. Preach the yeah. truth. He's a, well, he's a scary dude. What's the, what's, what, what image? Oh, wait, what's he going to leave us on? Be positive. Be positive. Fade out. How are you going to do a fade out? Just do a hard cut. It's a good community. Just do a hard cut. Do you fade out at the end of your videos, Max? No. Just do a hard cut. More impactful. I want to thank you, Mr. Girl, for coming by. Thanks for having me. I think it was, uh, look, it was a frustrating discussion. It's really but depressing. I want to say there's value in uh pointing out that what Vosh is doing is obviously hypocritical. He's pedo jacketed you far. He thinks how does he not see the exact everything <laughs> he's upset about he's doing, he's doing in the video. Uh I feel look, uh I want people to find you. I think it with the things that have been said about you are horrible. I think the banning of you from multiple platforms is a travesty against uh, this spirit of creation that we supposedly all love. Uh, I know you have some music that has come out recently. A new music video is coming. The best way to find me is to do bad things throughout your entire life so that you go to hell and I'll see you there. That's, uh, the, that's one way to find you, sure. Uh, I would say go to mrgirl.substack.com. Uh, Why am I not sharing the fucking image? Uh, that's one way to find you. And also on Twitter. Shake your pussy flaps. <laughs> you want to find me? Shake your pussy flaps. And then when I hear that flapping... <laughs> I'll show up. It's like saying Bloody Mary in the mirror. When you hear the flapping, Mr. Girl ain't napping. That's right. Jumps up into action. Hold on real quick. And that's okay. what happens. <laughs> Rap. Rap that happens when of... I hear your pussy flaps a flapping. No capping. Here's the TOS version. Where's the original version? Trying to find it. What? Oh, I put shake my pussy flaps. What am I, an idiot? Shake yeah. your pussy flaps. Yeah. It's the... Shake your pussy flaps. Shake your pussy flaps. Where did you post it? Why can't I fucking find it? It's on my sub stack. Is it on your sub stack? Yeah. The supporter stream... Here, hold on. I'll What's show in like December? Yeah, I know. I'm scrolling down. December. Okay, but I can't watch the video. No. 
on you YouTube. Should. This is blackface. He's a black gentleman. That I mean, you can watch the that. beginning of it. Okay. Well, I was just going to have us bopping over it. You met this guy wearing like a club? Bro, she on some pagan shit. I'm on some assalamu alaikum shit. Cover your hair, that's sacred, bitch. Cover your ankles, you naked witch. Panties all wet, I get it leaking. Go cronk on the pussy, I get it squeaking. I shove it in. Balls swollen like Nicki Minaj's, Nicki Minaj's cousin's, cousin's friend. friend. Shots, Jessica Rabbit, neck shots. Ashley Babbitt, call me Kobe, I never miss. Accidentally rape a bitch. Can't. Blackface, you can't handle this pussy. I scrambled that pussy, dismantled that pussy. Try this guy, I'll that pussy, that pussy, like, pussy a like a trans nigga. I'll nigga. I'll Pistol that pussy. Shake your, Shake your pussy flaps. flaps. Ladies and gentlemen, then the Tuesday. Shake your, shakes your flaps. Your flaps. With your friend, Mr. Girl. Be back I'ma week. fuck your mama, touch your sister, uh, have your whole family playing twisted. Right hand, right red, 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 left foot, blue, black dick, black pink, dick nigga, pink, nigga, pink, what's your move? They stay on ass, they call me cancer. Damn, I guess I'm black. I guess I'm black. Pink, pink, nigga, looking like, like a bag of antlers with a dick fatter than a whistle. Back to dancer, chops, chops, on Ramadan. I'm sick, stay off the blondes, but I like them white like Obama's palm. What'd you say? Peach like donkey cow. She don't see color. Well, I do, bitch. That's why you put asses on my dick. The pussy crazy. Amber Heard, I'm your slave. Flapping bird. Shake your we'll pussy back flaps. Next Tuesday. Bosh. Just admit it. Shake you your pussy that flaps. Eight -year -old pussy flap. That's what you want. Your big horse dick. Thank you. God bless.